Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the final of the 2024 Veterans Interzone from South Tamworth Bowling Club. Uh, an exciting final. I think it's a repeat of uh, last year's. I'm Benny Two Shoes. I'm joined here right now by uh, my friend and colleague Warren Shipley. Welcome, mate. Afternoon, Ben. Afternoon, viewers. Yes, you're right, Benny. A repeat of the 2023 final where Zone 10 got the better of Zone 2. And uh, it's Zone 10 going for the three-peak here this afternoon, having been victorious the last two years. So conditions are still ideal as we left them this morning. The breeze is a little bit little bit up than it was uh, this, this morning, but nothing that's going to affect the game too much. So Not at all. Ground level looks still... Yeah, we're just about to get underway here, the first end. For those that are just joining us, they're... 18 end matches, so 54 ends in total over the three rinks. No dead ends. The Jack respots on the tee, and we don't have to worry about points this game. It is the master board win only that counts. That's it. So the master board there down on the uh, bottom right-hand side of the screen. Uh, the scores for this game are in the top right, so keep an eye on those, uh, and it's going to be huge. Now... Zone 2 and Zone 10 have had pretty fairly differing paths. Zone 2 essentially had to play a semi-final last game and uh, won through fairly convincingly uh, to get through. Zone 10 had a... There was three teams that could have made it and uh, and Zone 10 were the ones that won through and a great start, cracking start there by... Oh, we haven't been through the teams yet. So that's uh, Kel Frame. Kel Frame from Cardiff. Uh, Daryl McKinnon second. He's from Club Charlestown, as is Glenn Dow the third. And a Barry Cartwright the skip from Hamilton North. And Benny, you can go through the... Yeah, and they're playing against Colin Wilson from Maryland's. Uh, Mark Barton, correction, sorry, that's Warren Hayden or Hedden. Yep. From Maryland, also from Maryland's. And then uh, Mark Barton from Deniston. And John Farr from NBC Sports. So I'm assuming that uh, Marlene Reynolds is going to jump on and get a bit excited later on. <laughs> She's pretty keen. Uh, and I can go through the, the rest of the teams as well while we're here. Uh, Phil Lubke is my first. Greg Wright. Afternoon, Ben and Woz. G'day, mate. And Mike Watts from Aberystwyth in Wales. Welcome. Uh, okay, so the teams. We've been through this one. Next door. We have the team we just saw, Leslie Pike, uh, Max Dettelbacher, Michael Lewis and Michael Beasley against Vic Siscato, Brian Dengate, Gary Reynolds and Trevor Eimer. And in the uh, far rink on the, to the uh, right of screen now, I think, is Fred Peter Eagle, Paul Delves, Kenneth Brown and Dale Maitland, who we saw yesterday on this rink. Against Jeff Armstrong, John Wayne Gibson, Ro Ross Levito, and Sammy Laguza. So, renowned, some renowned players here. Oh, I like those bright red balls. Yeah, that's Daryl McKinnon. You can join us as well, are you, Phil? Yeah, chuck your headset on, mate. And welcome uh, to the coverage. Mr. Phil O'Reilly, CEO of the club, welcome. Hello, Ben. Hello, Warren. Afternoon, Phil. Club would be fairly happy with uh, the event to date, mate. Yeah, yeah. Things have gone smoothly. We hope we've uh, been able to show some great hospitality to the visiting sides. Well, you've shown good hospitality to me, mate. I'm sure the visiting sides are happy as well. Yes, it's been sensational, mate. The catering and uh, all the organisation that's gone in the event has been outstanding. This is McKinnon on the back end. So he's going to get under the front. May get a promotion on his own. And rolls it in. Mm -hmm. There's a bright red uh, Greenmaster Premiers for those following along at home. So Warren heading to switch in positions for zone 10. They've swapped their second and third around for this encounter. Yeah, good shot. A bit close to shot. Yep. Falls back in. Yep, high fives all around out, out, out the window here. Glenn Dow from the Charlestown Club next to play. It's one of the interesting things about this rink 
the guys mentioned yesterday was uh, that group of players is standing on the right at the top of the screen there is a bit of a, uh, a tunnel, a service tunnel, I guess you'd call it, from the club. And there's uh, when a wind picks up, it runs through there and uh, creates a little uh, little jet stream, essentially. But uh, I don't know if, if the gusts pick up as it does now. I don't know how much effect it's going to have on the game. Well, that's rolled that up. There you go, number well, one. Well, they're all his own bales too, I believe. Yep. And high fives here yeah. too. <laughs> so that gust that comes through that tunnel, Benny, is it only with bad bowls or does it come through with good ones as well? <laughs> I'd be blaming it for <laughs> anything. <laughs> it's you know, there's a similar thing down at St George's Basin. They've got a wind tunnel right off rink 11, and at 10 and 11 it really affects it. I used to love those rinks. Looking for that little window there at the front. Probably going to turn away. Ooh, and through the hole. Mark Barton now, Glenn Dow. His last bowl on the first end. Certainly gave this one plenty of air. Yeah, the guys out there saying it's, it's really slick, just in the roll-up. The uh, surface itself, uh, I think we mentioned it this morning, and it's different again now. There's a real shine on the top, usually indicating a quick green. The uh, rollers are out. Nick did give it a little roll in lunch, German. That's it. Oh, he had his apprentice on there. He was playing around with the drone, Mick Woods. <laughs> uh, Blaine, Blaine Cook out there... Uh, Sitting on the roller as they went. Oh, Mark Barton is on a similar track to his last. Has he got the same weight? He's just going to pull up a fraction short. It's a very good effort. It's a bowl in the head for zone 10. Yep. Something for his skip to use for sure. Zone 2 still with the advantage on this one. Let's go in and have a, can have a better look at these bowls as they cross. You're not flying a drone now, mate. I know. <laughs> I know. I got to fly a drone around in, in, in the lunch break and I had a great time and then I immediately went away and started looking at drones for the coverage because I'd, I'd love that. And it had a different perspective. Oh, here we go. We've got people standing in front of the camera already. Yeah, the live feed for the drone would be... Great bringing it into the production. Good wouldn't fun, it? wouldn't it? They can get a really good one for about a thousand bucks. Can imagine sitting in this room just fly, <laughs> flying a drone, following bowls up and down the green. It's going to clunk into those back, back ones. To cover there. Well, there's. I think he's got. Yeah, there were there were two um, zone ten bowls back there, so that's. Very good, and pretty much what he skipped suggested. His white XGs. Bounce, not really. Run through a little. Another one going to the back. Yep, got a little stopper as well. So good in there. Changes the shot up a little bit. Needs to be far more precise with that that uh, volume of bowls. Should he come through and try to move that bowl out or Jack? Do you think it's only one at this point? He's giving it some grass. Needs a bit more turn. XGs do turn late. No. So we'll see what the call is. One it is to kick off this campaign in this final. One to zone two. Mr. Cartwright. I'll oh, take the big board after a few ends. There's no point doing it now. 
Oh, that's leaned down since I went out and adjusted the cameras. That's all right. Once again, that, just talking about that breeze, and we know that um, bowlers and sailors and golfers and fishers like to talk about the weather a lot, but uh, uh, it's boxing the compass again. It's not coming from a steady direction. So it's just running in, at the moment right to left across the screen almost directly. At the start of the game, it was a little diagonal and steady, but it's not much of a breeze. The flags at the uh, corners are barely moving. First end measure over there on the far rink. And a strong start uh, Kel from Frame. Kel. Yeah. Good opening bowl. Plenty of grass out on that hand, on both hands, actually. A lot more than this morning, Benny. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. You do well, Phil, to learn on greens like this, eh? Practice on this. Yeah, they're great to play on. Players here get a bit spoilt though, Ben. They go and play elsewhere. And yeah, that's well. Compare it to their <laughs> own greens. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm, I'm, look, I'm honestly, I'm a bit the same at Huskisson, but I find going from a quick green to a slow one's easier than going from a slow one to a quick one. This is a better line for Colin. A few more people on here. We've got uh, Sue Swan, Kevin Taylor, Pete, Pete Lynn. Good shot. I don't have any relation to uh, Andrew. Peter Lynn's the bowls coordinator at Valentine, Valentine Club Valentine. Yep. <sighs> Matthew Tracy watching from Northmead. Jody Doricott from Zone 2. Trent Whittingham. G'day, lad. G'day, champion. He's a good man. Their barber goes Zone 2. And Seymour, no. And uh, Zone 6 aren't still in the comp. This is the final. These are the winners, two section winners, uh, and this is the final game. Simon Willis here, I agree. <laughs> uh, Rex Hawkins saying it's good to see a player bending over to put the jack on the line. Yeah, that's nice too. So across the rinks, zone two have struck early, winning the first end on all three rinks. Lagoos have picked up a two, and Boosley a single. Eddie Gerda from New Zealand uh, would would have thought the black lines along the rink could be easy to get your green right. Yeah, you'd think so too, but just remember it's a it's a hard game. <laughs> it's it's uh, we don't play it because it's easy and playing outside, of course, and uh, pretty slick greens here and on a lot of a lot of the Australian surfaces compared to uh, New Zealand. Oh, I think the greens are pretty quick in New Zealand too. Can mate. be. Yeah, yes. seen, I've only seen coverage of maybe in the rain. Uh. There's a wasp trying to land on my camera out there. It can go away. Is there? Yeah. I can just see it every now and again popping in front well, of the screen. Barry Cartwright does play for the Hornets. Hamilton North <laughs> Hornets. Hamilton Hornets. More a broader mascot with him. <laughs> so zone 10 holding one here. See Cartwright's just going to call Glenn Dow his third. Up through McKinnon's bowl, the red bowl there of zone two. Promote it or sneak under, land the shot bowl. See what Dow can produce. He looks a little tight. Has he got a bit of weight on? Yeah, I think he's strong. He has. He has got a lot of weight on. He's played it quite well. He's going to land the bowl out. Oh, well. well played. Oh, Jack nice and exposed in there now. I still I do think uh, it's one still to zone two, that red bowl at the front. Yeah, might be a couple. Might be the front two, mm. might be counting. There is an open drawer on the forehand. So far, just saying to Mark Barton there, going to play up through the zone two bowls. And just got to find a gap. Still plenty of room. Be pointed pretty well too if you get some clear air here. He gets under that front red, which he's just going to fail to do. A very good track. A 
How many pennant teams has the club got here, Phil? Five. Warren. Five sides? Yeah. Excellent. What grades are they? Grades three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. One in each grade. And the competition's uh, underway, mate. Where is up to? Sure. We've played three of six rounds three in of our six. sectional play. All right. Yeah, How's the yeah. club performing? Um, yeah, grade three side are all equal right. uh, on ten points in their section. Uh, grade four... Uh, are behind Walker, I think, leading their section. Oh, it's a good shot here, but it's going to get it onto the jack, but it's going to roll back to zone 10. They might be holding one. Yeah, that's the indication. This is zone, zone 3, isn't it? Zone 3, yeah. 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 Sectional, of course. Yeah, close and everything. Corindai leading that section in grade four. Grade five. South Town within the section with two Inverell clubs and Glen Innes, and they're leading that. They got a double header this weekend. They had one washout last Saturday. Ah, uh, yes. So you play the washouts the following Follow, Sunday normally Sunday, yeah. 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 Same, yeah, as us. same as us in zone 7 as well I think fairly stand grade 6 Walker lead that section see us are playing Walker this weekend and uh, oh, there we go yeah, and the 7's uh, equal well pretty much equal from 2 to two to the bottom there it's uh, Bingara on top so yeah, yeah it's, uh, with 3 wins of that section so I get a few complaints about the travel that some of our clubs have to do down in Newcastle. Phil, do you want to tell us about the travel that you blokes do up in this area, mate? Well, we do um, separate the zone into geographical areas and we play sectional play in those geographical areas to uh, try and reduce travel. Um, and going forward, as we move to a region... It'll be similar with the ladies in the yep. competitions. Very good. They were already playing in geographical areas of districts and okay, yep. having a regional playoff, so nothing should so change. nothing a lot will change, no. It may be better suited for a team in a district to go to the other old district for ease of travel and things like that, but yeah. yeah. Very oh, tight. Who's actually got the shot there? I think that front one of... Uh, no, no, holding no, one. no, there it is. Zone 10 is saying the jack eyeball is one. I tricked so, myself. Uh, it's always the jack eyeball. Right. I tricked myself. Yep. So, a chance to add another. Looks to be on a fairly good track here if he gets a clear run, but I think there's a bit of traffic in his way. Oh, he's overcooked it anyway. Yeah. So, one, so two... We'll square it up. On to zone 10. As we mentioned, Zone 10 looking to defend their uh, defend their title. Yeah, going for a three in a row. Which would be pretty remarkable. You don't see that in sports very often. Three-peats are a uh, rare occurrence and something to be celebrated. Watching his Jack Keenly. I like that. Up until get cranky with my leads when they don't watch the watch the jack as well, you know, chuck it and don't care. I so don't like that. Benny, your theory's working so far too, mate. The lead that's held shot the first two ends have gone on to win that end. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a thing. You've got the uh seven end thing, that's isn't it? That yours? The seven yeah. ends, mate, yeah. I reminded our players out there about it. It's one of the echoes in my head when I play singles games. This <laughs> <laughs> is pretty good track, I reckon. Yeah. You think they're going to pull up, but they just keep rolling on, don't they? Oh, the yeah. Greens are certainly... Quickened up from when we first started this morning. Well, those SRVs, that was a fairly wide track. The SRVs aren't necessarily a narrow bowl by any means, but that was our long way. 
Uh, Colin, of course, using uh, XGs. XGs yeah. You'll see these always with a late turn in XGs. Big J hook. Same as uh, Drake's Pride do the same thing. They've got a real, real late hook. Conquest, yeah. Yeah, Conquest, yeah. I started with Conquest back in the way. That was my first set of bowls. A set of red ones got stolen out of the back of my car years ago. And so ended up with um, arrows, aerodynamics. Dynamics have got a different draw line with a turn point in the centre, the Harbour Bridge. Yeah, as they, uh, yeah they, they certainly advertise that. I don't know up at... Um, I know at uh, where was it? Raymond Terrace. They were getting really late turn, and there was, you know, bowls. Oh, where? Oh, geez, I can think of Dubbo. At times, it looked like the bowls were turning back towards the bowlers. It was a uh, pretty bizarre. You don't see bowls end up at ninety degrees to the camera very often. Well, the, uh, the two synthetic greens at Railway. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the one. That's what yeah, I they're the about. quickest synthetics. Uh, yeah, I've had the pleasure to play on. Like, they were lightning, like a pool table. Yeah. So I do think we're going to see, same, same as we have, the uh, the guys really trying to adjust to the new conditions. So the heads will get tighter and tighter as we go along. A simple call straight away from the skip. Just come and beat that one. That's the second shot. So it's another score to Boosley over on Rick 9. He leads 2-0 after two ends. Yep, 5-1 on the uh, master board. Mm, just completing Laguz's second end as well. And it's a measure. So it McKinnon measure. on the forehand. So, to, so I was thinking about this before. It's a slightly unusual format, isn't it, playing a, a final in a, in a, like this in a fours comp? Or am I wrong? Like this, I'm just trying to think of the... Because shots and that don't matter. It's just straight out. Not, 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 not unlike a pennant player. No, no, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah pennant paths, paths. Yeah, played. All the inner zones are played under the same conditions. Yeah, so it's all just about the big board, not even about ring scores at all. Yeah, that's right. And if that's, uh, if that's equal at the end, then we'll play an extra end. All three. All three rings. All three, three, out three play play an extra extra end. Yep. Simon Wallace asking what speed the greens are. About 16. I reckon they look about 16. But when I get an opportunity... We'll put the clock on a few when you get a 27 metre length. Exactly. 27 metre length. Thanks to the uh, green keepers there for putting the logos in the right spot. I love that. So this is Glenn Dow, and straight away he's indicated that that might be a little quick. Turn his back on it. Yeah. I think that might be in the bunker. Yeah, he gave up pretty quick, didn't he? Yeah. No thanks. Zone two looks to be holding one there with Kells. Mm. Dark blue bowl. This looks all right. It's about weight, I think. He wants to be happy just to rest on one of those back two. Lots of turning left. Oof. Yeah, definitely one to zone two. What was the other question? Someone asking... Who was in uh, Barry's team? That's uh, Kel Frame from Cardiff. Darren McKinnon from Charlestown, Glenn Dow of, also of Charlestown, and uh, Barry Cartwright skipping with his green SRs. And they're playing against uh, Colin Wilson from Maryland's, uh, Warren Hedden also from Maryland's, Mark Barton from Deniston, and John Farr from NBC Sports.
So I'm just looking. This is actually a pretty long end. There. That's probably two metres up from the tee at this end. Yep. Jack down on the tee at the other end. Just looking around the club at the moment, there's a bunch of guys that aren't sitting outside watching the game. You've got the, the TV up there, uh, yeah, the watching. corner of the bar, they're watching us on TV <laughs> over strong. there. Too hot for so, the outside. So, g'day lads, give us a wave. I'm sure they can hear us. There's about a f uh, seven to eight second delay, so... Yeah, that's a good spot to sit inside the club here. John's bowl reaching the ditch there in the yeah. last. Yeah. Taking a bit. I'm going to say zone two probably a little bit, has a little bit of an advantage having played on this green this morning, but the as we've mentioned, the green keepers were out rolling it between games, and it's certainly quickened up from this morning game to the afternoon. Zone 10 have come across from uh, the other green to play on this one. None of the players have played on these particular rinks. We worked it out so they hadn't uh, had the opportunity to play on the rink. Yeah, I think we're a bit, bit lucky, actually, that we had a team that hadn't played on this yeah. rink. We <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. saw so, oh, Maitland before and Beasley. Yes, it was a process of elimination, which worked out perfect for us. Barry in the RSL, oh, he's an RSL bowler. He John is an Humphrey's RSL, saying. yeah. He's known as Captain Grumpy. Well, well he's played a good knee up. Uh, to be quick, that's a... Go. it's three shots. Three to zone two, goodness me. Well, we saw uh, the Beasley team last time do this. A few big ends. So a good question here while the changeover's happening. Debbie Quick asking, once the zones and districts combine, once we go to regions, do you think women will get a chance to play an event like this? Uh, it will be possible, yes. Maybe yes. we just make our own veteran women's, veterans yeah. men. The, uh, I know the state match committee are looking at a number of options and along down them lines and recommendations will go to the Board of Bowls New South Wales and we'll wait and see for some announcements. Hello, Deb. Uh, there are already women's interzone for open and seniors in the calendar for 2024-25. There is. Well, it's the open and senior will be a combined team, but yes, there will be a women's interzone, but that announcement will happen soon. I'm just excited for the uh, spring of women's bowls. The ladies' carnival coming up. At Foster Tongue Curry, 938 women uh, converging on that one one town, a little town of Foster and and the uh, bowls clubs around it. That's going to be monstrous over there. Is that 938 entrants or teams? Ten entrants total, yeah, not teams. No, <laughs> 938 in, uh, individuals. There's a lot of lot of ladies, a thousand ladies, nearly turning up. That's a, that's a carnival. I was speaking to. Um, uh, Dillis Killersides, the the president, and that's a t tournament that's running for 93, 94 years now. It's been going for a long, long time. Yes, the ladies said in certainly enjoy it. Did you get a gig there, Benny, for that one? I'll be in Greece, oh, mate. You'll be in Greece. <laughs> you'll be tuning into the live stream, no doubt. Yeah, I'll be sitting on a yeah, definitely sitting on a <laughs> at Santorini watching the bowls. <laughs> frame a little bit short this end coming back into a slight breeze there's not a lot it's a great bowl here from Wilson Deb Quick saying hi Phil it's a beautiful day here in Bali oh. <laughs> one of the more interesting conversations I had yes, yesterday was uh, I overheard one of the um, oh, who was it Schroeds came out and said uh, said to one lady hey do you want to come to Bali with me next weekend she goes oh yeah alright <laughs> <laughs> it's like no big overseas trip. Uh, brilliant. Well, Zone 2 players are falling in a bit of a hole here. Might be that breeze coming through that tunnel that's pulling them bowls up on that end. Yeah, we'll blame the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Look, with the, the breeze this light, and you can see again it's running in the other yeah, direction now. Yeah, there's um, hardly any. It's just 
yeah, boxing the compass still, and it's just not going to affect it too much. Well, this one certainly looks better from McKinnon. A little bit tight. It's going to get away a fair bit. He's got the weight to hold himself up for the shot bowl. Yeah, no, that's what he's just going to snip past. Just as, as it crossed in front of the player in front of me, yeah. I'm watching out the window. That I thought that was square on. But the uh, bowl behind the head finally for zone two. This one's on a pretty good track as well. Should be another counter. How far is it going to get away? Well, it, well, it just pretty much needs to beat that red one. Yeah, it has. So it'll be four to zone ten at the moment. Well, re retrieve that four they dropped. Was it a four three? three. Sorry, they dropped. Yeah. Would be uh, what they're aiming at. Another measure on that far ring. Must be a close one. The other third's going down and have a, a crack. One, two, three, four. So four there at the moment. Yeah. So down. ten. Yeah, Dow missing under with his first and a little bit short. About a metre short as well. Barton can add to the count here. Inflict a bit more pain. Oh, he's not going to get here by the looks of that, but it's only got to boot that front one. And it's yeah. done that. That's another counter. It's holding five at the moment. Big job here coming up for his own two to rescue this one. Glendale. Geez, that's out a long way. It'll come back, but I don't think he's up. He yeah, crossed over into the next rink, and it came back, uh, geez, less than a metre off the line. That's yeah. pretty wide tur turning bowls at, from Glenn there. Optimas, size fours. Cartwright is certainly going to be under the pump. Well, the looks of things here, and there's still a bowl to come from Mark Barton from zone 10. That's all. Make it a half dozen if you can navigate past that short front bowl. Yeah, he gets, gets this in. That's all six of the uh, yeah. first bowls. Is he uh, around I it? Think no, he's, he's under it. it. Oh, no, he's got a bit of it. So, well, it still might count. Yeah, it's still. <laughs> I was going to say, you look <laughs> at that. Just sticking my head up out the window. It looks like it. Oh, geez, it'd be close. Emu on the sideline giving an encouragement. He's been here all week. You can see a seven this morning. We've got the umpires out, so it was close on that uh, measure. Uh, two rinks away. That's on the Trevor Room and Michael Beasley rink. All right, Cartwright. Under the pump here. Yeah. <laughs> Is not the not the header Skip wants to come uh, crossing over to, but it's also their job, the rescue. Yeah. You mentioned. Uh, is he wide enough? Well, yes, he is. He's through the hole. Is he going to get the jack here? Well, he's played this brilliantly. There. What a shot, oh. Barry Cartwright! Take your hats off, oh. ladies and gentlemen. That is an amazing shot by the uh, zone two skipper under pressure. Five, maybe six down. And this is what he pulls out. We're just watching the replay now. Captain Cranky, all right. <laughs> you would have, it would have been, it would have been a bit grumpy going to the other end. Well, look out. John Farr is chasing him. Is he going to get down in time to get enough of him? Oh, he's just missed. Just through, yep. Desperately needs a mate. Jeez, we're getting this uh, display of bowls here, aren't we, there? Mm. From the skippers. So that was clearly a couple of shots over to zone 10 over on that far rink, by the looks. So Cartwright, he's out on a fair track again. Wants Is he going to sneak around his own? Oh, no, he's going to run through. 
Well, that's a pretty lonely bowl there, it's isn't it? It's very lonely. I'm not sure if he can get a good piece of it. He'll be trying to get him on the swing. Oh, he's too wide. He gave that up pretty quickly. Barry Cartwright. What a bowler. Big Keep, save. Give him a hat. Put it there while I update the score. So 5 1 after four ends in this 18 end game. 10 5 on the big board after 11. So across the rinks, uh, Beasley and Trevor Rimmer are two all after three. And it's Laguza leading Maitland 3 2 after three. So long length again, zone two. Left-hander. There's Kel Frame. Leave it in uh, Quite short there. Wilson on the forehand. So I'm timing this one. It's just over 27 metres, but it'll give us a uh, good indication of uh, the actual speed of the green at the moment. That's a good shot, by the way. So 17 flat to the jack. Collins played that hand the last few times going this way well. Yeah. yeah. So 17 seconds, this green. That's, that's hooking. I keep saying it, these screens by reputation are great. The uh, greenkeeper is a is a bit of a, a legend in greenkeeping circles and, geez, the insights he gave us yesterday into, into green craft and green management. Look at this. Well played, Kel Frame. Huge correction. Yeah, the insights he gave us yesterday were quite excellent. I really enjoyed that. I should get more greenkeepers on. Tell us about the art. I think one of the interesting things he said was he... Um, he learnt more about greenkeeping uh, after he finished his trade and all that by becoming a player. And he said it can help him prepare. That's another good shot. Help him prepare a uh, a green a little better because he knows what bowlers want. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> well, the way these greens are prepared, he certainly knows what bowlers want. That's for sure. Because, yeah, I reckon. Uh, They are fantastic. McKinnon just under the line here. Weight's pretty good. Just going to sneak under. Heading, got John Farr interested with this one, and rightly so, he's played it very well. Oh, it's just rubbed off his own. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was talking about. It as as the ends go on, have a look how tight everything is there. Yep. Yeah, the players are starting to get a feel of the pace. That's for sure. They're all just overcooking that one, but won't go astray. Hanging around the back. See what Hedden can do this Ooh. time. He wasn't far away last time. Looks as though he's just a little bit higher with his line. 
That's two great efforts. Yep, still a really good place to end up too. Uh, back bowl's really wasted. He's got one near it and the crumb. He's got shot <coughs> from the indication there okay. from Larry. JJ Douglas saying, mate, the best greens in Australia by far. Started his bowls career here. And hello, Phil. G'day, Jay. Jace. Jason. They are running into two mates bowl there. Yeah. A little cluster there. Geez, it's going to be difficult to get in and move things around. But they will. These players aren't in this position in this final uh, for no reason. These guys, as, as we said, as you said in the first game, uh, Shippo, the, uh, these players get to are playing in the top, often the top grades in their own clubs, and they're doing it at 70, 70 years old. And I can't think of another sport where, uh, where that would be the case. Oh, look at this. What a shot. What a great ball. Mark Barton. The moustache. Yeah, that's the competitive juices are certainly flowing out there, mate, at the moment. Yeah, they want it, don't they? Dow yeah, will be playing with a bit of weight, I would imagine, now. Try and move something. Just smack it around a bit, see what happens. Oh, well, is he? No, no he's not, like He's no. only on the draw. Thought he might have tried and cleared a few out for his skip. Although he's close to it. No, he's just going to hold out past. So have a look at this moustache. Behind right? a bit. That, that's a moustache. <laughs> Played one absolute ripper a second ago. Looking like he's trying to duplicate it. He's going in the same direction. <laughs> Scruffy. There we go. <laughs> that's the nickname, apparently. Scruffy. All right. Yeah. Anywhere near the pressure he was under last end when he came to the mat, but still down. Mm -hmm. It'll be down three, I was going to say he's down at multiple. Yeah. The jack resting just in front of that uh, darker blue bowl, or the royal blue bowl in the middle. And the next two, one, two. Oh, without a doubt, zone ten bowls. So this this is a bit of a surprise to me. I thought it'd be coming down heavier than that, but. Uh, he gets inside, that gets a right angle. Oh my goodness! There, well, he's cut it out. <laughs> what a shot! <laughs> Indication from zone ten that it's that it's one now. Cartwright on fire at the present. Got an interesting delivery. Yes. I'll get a view of that this time, just to show everyone. Yeah, that one running a bit past, probably a decent weight looking to punch the green one around somewhere. I don't know where it's going to go. Magic fingers. Yeah. So both other rinks while we're waiting is 4-2 in favour of zone 2 after four ends on both of them. Just watch this delivery. Wonder about the leg. He's got a full uh, compression sleeve on his left left leg. That's why it's a different cut. Looks like it's a different colour. Very interesting. Doesn't do the statue at the bottom, mate. No, definitely not. Definitely no statue there. Wants that under. Clear run, and he's not got it. Oh, I think they'll be happy with a one down at present. Well, I 
let's say he's probably saved eight shots over the last two ends. Depending what John Farr can do with his last here. <laughs> Looks a safe shot coming in there. Yeah. Roll the bowl up. Yep. Yeah. He's behind. He can sit on Barry's bowl. Let's see if you hear on uh, YouTube giving us a rundown of the bowls. Yeah, they're pretty uh, similar on the way they go down, aren't they? A couple of red sets and uh, some green together. Blue, lots of blue. That's a nice safe bolt. Yes. Uh, I think they're one. The indication from both the thirds was one. Lie detector, mate. Yeah, out it comes. Let's have a look at the front one as well, actually. One. Definitely one is zone 10. Well, that's another good cart right save. And what does the big board down there say, lads? 13 ends. 13. 13, 6. 6. 6. Yes, it does. Well, quite a battle already. They're going end for end. I don't think have they, anyone won two ends in a row. I don't think they have, have they? Uh, yes, oh, yeah. two one ends, three and four. Okay, my apologies. Yeah, and then still up and down. It's five two. The only uh, just trying to do the math here. I think the only multiple was that three, wasn't it? It was. Barry Cartwright proving to be the saviour at the moment. The rest of the Zone 10, 10 team having the best of it. And then uh, last couple of ends and Barry coming through and Captain Grumpy is cutting it down or taking the shot off. Both a little start, stuck out a little wide then. I'm going to blame the wind tunnel again. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> the wind. Fascinating watching some of these players with their antics as they watch their bowl yeah. come down. I was watching Kel Frame just a minute ago. He's a, he's a rag twirler. He'll, he'll twirl, his, twirl his rag in his hand as he watches oh, his, love it. his bowl come down. I love it too. I think that I've spoken before how about how it'd be a good photo study. Yeah. Uh, just to watch uh, Can off, you get a shot of him, Betty? Of that look, at face. Him, look at him twirling that yeah, rag. Look at it go. Look at that. <laughs> What's the end of it? He's still steering it in. Yeah, he's steering it. That's it. Let's rush past to see if he's yeah. still doing it. Still, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. Oops, I'll go back and watch him deliver. Uh, Warren Hedden. They've certainly thrown them out there. And they're coming back. And they're certainly coming back to the centre line as well. They're giving them plenty of air. So the players have picked up the line fairly quickly. It's a bit tougher coming back this way into the breeze, I think, than going the other way with it, which is generally the case. Yeah, I think the, the only one with a really tight bowl, you'd assume... Yeah, I'm just looking. There's a set of Greenmaster Powers out there. Uh, that'd be about it, though. The rest of it, just... There's some Optimas. They'd be going crazy on this. SRVs. That's one. About a pretty uh, open draw <laughs> for no, ma no, no matter what.
This is look. This looks okay if the pace is right. Line right this time. Yeah. Spot on. And K- even moved it back to his own bowl. So yeah. that's two to zone ten and a great shot there. Those premiers, Warren Hedden. Keenan doesn't need to adjust much. He's on a better grass line. Just needs to avoid the blue bowl now, and he's played this fairly well. He's played it very well. Oh, he's going to run through a touch. Yeah, kept going. Oh, it's still a good bowl. Unfortunate not to stop for shot. But looks like it's still two to zone ten. Comes Scruffy. Brilliant. It's uh, hung out more than I thought it would. Yeah, well, it's a handy bowl, though, in mm. a very good position. Back with the zone two bowls. Dow, couple down. Not sure he sent this one. Nah, it's narrow two. Yeah, didn't make it at all. No, meters short. So, Laguz has picked up a two next door. He leads 6-2 after five. Yeah, not dissimilar to here, actually, is it? The, the scores. Well, this is quick. Wants the gap now, doesn't want to... Roll that anywhere, and you got it. Just a little slowdown, actually. I think that that caused a tiny little bit of movement. Worked it back once again into a pretty good spot for zone ten. Oh, I don't think he's here again. Dow, he's not. He's no better than his last. Very similar in weight to his last. You might get Captain Grumpy going pun out. There's no words exchanged there. <laughs> when I talk to the lead, they might be talking about swapping sides, perhaps. He does look pretty serious, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Grumpy. I bet he's an old army warrant officer. Just always, always angry. So, John Farr looking to add. Doesn't really want to move the jack. John Humphrey saying Barry has SRs. Now, we went out and had a look and uh, asked the question, so we've checked all their bowls beforehand. Woof. Whoosh. Well, it hung up. Who's that? Barry, Barry Cartwright? Yeah, yeah. He's, got a, yeah he's using SRs. What's he going to do? Which way is he lining up that way? Yep, definitely that way. It looked, very, looked like he was lining up pretty straight. I thought he was going to have a run at the yeah. bear, Jack. Well. It's strong, but it looks like it's going to hit that back bolt. one of them. Look at this. Oh, Barry geez. Cartwright. By word. It's just non-stop, this bloke. <laughs> it's unreal. Well. He did have a couple of chances, I suppose, coming up with that weight to land the bowl or trail the jack back, but yes. Just perfect weight, yeah. just underneath that outside bowl. Know what he had to do. Yeah, perfect perfect weight to hit and sit. This might have the jack, this one, or it might have the hole. Oh, kicking goals. Yeah. Very close yeah. from John. So it's just a draw here, you'd say. You're right. He looks as though he's lining up on his back end, but uh, forehand, certainly. So that's the width. Pretty good line again here. Barry Cartwright. <laughs> My word. 
Take your hat off, everybody. Uh, We're watching a masterclass <laughs> here. Absolute <laughs> masterclass <laughs> team. Unbelievable. Clearly, the uh, two best shots to zone two. Look, don't get me wrong. He's going. He's going to prefer not to have to go to each head down. <laughs> but geez, he's putting some confidence in his players just by playing shots like that. Nineteen six now on the big board. Zone two up. After well, we've got sixteen, so we're playing to fifty four ends on the big board. Six ends down on this and this 18 end rink. Seven two. I've got some bad news for you, Benny. After the leads have played, zone two have only held shot up on two of the uh, two of the six oh, ends. Oh, theory's not working. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll shut up about it. Ah uh, no, there's plenty of, plenty <laughs> of time to come. It's a pretty small sample size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good start. kill has got a great start there. Then, we did have noticed that he's changed hands too. That little talk that Barry gave him on the crossover was about changing hands. He's jumped across onto the, uh, I'm assuming the tighter side now. It is certainly coming back to the club, but I'm not sure we're going away from it. John, <laughs> John Humphrey's confirming you was an Army Warrant Officer <laughs> in, the, in the artillery, yep. I <laughs> know, oh, man. My... my uh, as anyone who's watching the stream knows, I'm ex-Navy. You know, all, all the Army Warrant Officers, everyone used to scatter when they turned up because they're just cranky. <laughs> <laughs> well, the changeover didn't last long. Matthew Collins on YouTube just asking what clubs they're representing. So on the Zone 2 side, we have uh, Kelfrain from Cardiff. Uh, Daryl McKinnon from Charlestown, also Glenn Dow from Charlestown, and Barry Cartwright from Hamilton North. On the other side, uh, Colin Wilson from Marylands, uh, Warren Hedden from Marylands as well, Mark Barton from Deniston, and John Farr from NBC Sports, and that's uh, Northwest Sydney against uh, Zone 2, which is Newcastle. And one of Newcastle's absolute stalwarts, and I guess you'd call it uh, insular. Newcastle man Warren Shipley's next to us here, as well as the CEO of uh, of Club or South Tamworth Bowling Club, Mr. Phil O'Reilly. As I stumble with my words there, sorry about that. <laughs> and I'm betting two shoes, <laughs> just for the self promotion. Absolutely loving being here right now. This town's getting under my skin a little bit. No shooting stars up on the lookout last night, Benny and Cerny, mate. Actually, honest truth, mate, there would have been. It was a bit of a, apparently a bit of a meteor shower last night, but also um, it was, once the moon went down, the crescent moon, uh, it was pitch dark. Yeah, right. And so it's going to be the same tonight, so I'm going to go look for a big open spot where there's no light from pollution and take some nighttime uh, uh, astro shots. Okay. We got some really good shots of the uh, setting moon last night. So McKinnon about to play his backhand. Newcastle looks to be holding pretty close for shot though. Sure, whether that one's going to hold long enough. It's getting away. It was beautiful last night. Up on the, like I said, I was up on the lookout, actually lookout. And there's a group of lawyers up there uh, trying a case, a cold, well, cold case actually, from the uh, National Justice uh, NJP something like that, project, and. Uh, which is, has made the media, by the way, but they were up there just enjoying the view and the lookout, and I stood up there and said I had quiet refreshment with them, good conversation, just, and then watched the sun set for a, for a good hour or so, and then went back and did some work, <laughs> went back to work. <laughs> thought you were going to say, Barnaby Joyce has sent us up here to see oh, you. Oh, no, son. I did see Barnaby too. Yeah, I ran into Barnaby Joyce. I was walking around looking for food. He's... <laughs> You know, he wouldn't let me take a photo with him, mate, Phil. He, uh, 
<laughs> just don't get something about the guy with the, the uh, funny shoes and the and the purple mohawk that went, nah. <laughs> Outside his office. I didn't even know he was the member up here. I didn't even think. But yeah, there he was. There is a uh, astronomy club and observatory here in Tamworth. Oh, really? It opens at 5 o'clock today. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's, it's, it's a clear night. I might it's head not far out. from the lookout either. Yeah, might have a look. That should be more famous than the Golden Guitar. It's <laughs> probably what you do at astronomy clubs. You don't have a look. <laughs> so, golden Guitar surrounded by a KFC and a McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a big guitar, mate. It's a big Golden <laughs> Guitar, yep. So this is Glenn Dow. I'm not sure he's going to hold long enough, is he? Well, we're not going to know because... Barry's decided he's going to have a look. Yes, he did hold long enough, looking out the window. Oh, the Jack Pruel. Oh, Jack Pruel. Pruel. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. There's another fine, Benny. Yeah, another fine, and he's using chalk and not a spray as well, so uh. fine for that too. <laughs> <laughs> One of my pet hates. <laughs> Don't touch the bowls. Yeah. Well, good ball from <laughs> down there. Change the angles completely now. Sally, Sandy Smart saying Barry may have to play second and third as well. Yeah. <laughs> John Humphrey saying, Passy, I was a passer, mate. That's why they called us. I was getting impressed when I see when I realised someone's from the army. I always wonder how they um, wash the smell off. <laughs> <laughs> So, the scores on the other two rinks next door, it looks like they're both 6-2 now after five ends each. Yeah, that makes sense. 19-6 yeah. on the big board after okay. 16. Yeah. Well, another score is about to go on to someone. And it looks like zone two. They've got the mat in here. Well, both rinks. Yeah, there was a one on this rink right close to us. Okay. Just watch this bowl come in and... Does that help? Well, that's pumped up. That's all zone two bowls. Mm. He's pumped up there, so yes, Mark they could be holding ball. four there. That's oh, uh, sorry, kill frames bowl. Yeah, yep. kill frames. So this one needs to negotiate and stop. It hasn't. Well, it's gone into the ditch, so <laughs> can't ride a chance to make a five here. We've got another guest for you, Ben and Warren. Excellent. Zone 3 president, Mr Greg Wilkins. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is a privilege. Welcome. So get that... Welcome, gentlemen. Let's get that out of your eye and on your mouth. That's the one. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, can't so watch join another. We'll just watch this last bowl because Zone 10 are under the pump here, five down. So... Uh, We'll just yeah, watch this bowl come down. Then we'll have a chat about you, Mr. Williams, Wilkins, Wilkins, <laughs> Wilkins. Is it Williams? <laughs> Wilkins, I'm an idiot. Sorry, mate. Here no we go. Worries. If he gets under here, if he gets under, oh, oh he's going to cut out a few. That's a great bowl. Second right shot. That's a big bowl. That is a big bowl. Big bowl. So I guess the first thing I'm going to say here as they change over. His congratulations on your life membership for Zone 3. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's a great honour. Great honour. Yeah, it's yeah, a... Yeah, so it was great. Amazing yeah. achievement. Anyone getting a, a life membership in anything, uh, obviously you've done great service, mate. Well done. Yeah, it's been a few years. I've been taken up with, uh, with Bowles. So how did you get into it, Greg? We, talk us through it, mate. How did it all... Oh, mate, it, uh, I go back to 1970, uh, Inverell Bowling Club. In those days, uh, unfortunately, it closed in 2000, but uh, mm. Inverell Bowling Club, uh, and a chappy by the name of uh, Neville Wong. Uh, Neville was a great player. Um, he and another chappy from uh, Inverell Bowling Club actually uh, won state pairs back uh, many years ago. 
but Neville, uh, yeah, Neville tutored me uh, uh, for uh, six Sunday mornings, actually, and I, I still recall them. Six Sunday mornings, all I done was roll a jack, roll a jack. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said to me the next weekend, he said, you can put a bottle in your hand now. Well. <laughs> yeah, no, it was great. And, uh, yeah, that's where I got involved. Um, and I spent, uh, yeah, in Rob Island Club. I moved to Sydney in uh, 1973 with my uh, employment. And uh, I was there uh, in Sydney until 1983, uh, September 83. I uh, joined up with Coogee Bowling Club. Oh, yeah. And then I went out to uh, Padstow Bowling Club. Mm-hmm. Uh, I bought a, a... Me and my wife and family bought a house out there. So I joined up with Padstow and I was a tangled up with a committee, both at Coogee and Padstow as well. That's where I started. And uh, come back to Inverell in 83 and uh, got involved uh, again at the Inverell Bowling Club. Also then... Uh, the Gwaita District, the old Gwaita District uh, mm-hmm. Bowling Association. Uh, spent uh, a few years there as president and a uh, oh, number of years on the uh, match committee and selectors committee. Uh, got involved with the Zone 3. Um, I had three years as president uh, back in the late 90s. And... Um, Oh, yeah, wow. so got all, involved. All, yeah, all, all of that was uh, before before the late nineties. Geez, before the before the turn of the century. Jeez, yeah, mate. I was president so you, of Zone Three. Yeah. In. So, yeah. well, the turn of the century, you've done thirty years of bowls and involved in committees and everything like that. It's twenty twenty four, and you're the president still. <laughs> but no, 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 I only put back in the chair uh, at the last AGM in, in uh, early December. My and, goodness. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Rob Key, who was our president then uh, not well and uh, he said because we still have a state councillor position on our board on mm-hmm. our, through the constitution so he said uh, Greg he said what about he said I swap your positions <laughs> I said well we can, we'll do that and uh, wait for the uh, unification to go through so uh, yeah it's all been uh, all been good all been good really enjoy it Great and uh, yeah met some real top guys Made a lot of friends. Yep. And all three bowls. And that's what we do. That's been great. Yep. That's what we do. And, every, you know, it's such a good community as well. It is. And built by, uh, you know, after 54 years' service, certainly built by men like you, mate. Well done. Congratulations once again <laughs> on your life <laughs> membership and, your, and all of your service. Thank it's you. Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, good shot. No, great. And we spoke to Phil earlier, Greg, about this event. You'd be, uh, you'd be happy with the way everything has, has gone so far as well. It's been fantastic, mate. Oh, what a great week. A great couple of days yeah. it's been. It's, yeah. And weather-wise, as uh, we had our little shower of rain on Tuesday night. Yeah. Uh, and it never affected the greens one bit. No, it's, no, it's been terrific, mate. The greens here are terrific. And Phil, uh, as the CEO yeah. of uh, South Barlow, is, uh, should be very proud of... Uh, his staff and everyone here as well. He looks it's, proud. He does. He's walked he does. around his shoulders, <laughs> back his chest out. <laughs> He's also got his um, got his head on the news a couple of times. Channel Nine was here today. Channel Seven yesterday. I oh, seen so you get yeah. interviewed too, Greg. Did yeah, you, you, you got too. interviewed too. Oh, you? yesterday. They yes. tell me you were signing autographs last night. Is that right? I hope. Uh, <laughs> no, Mark. He said he's framed that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the type of fellas you meet in bowls. Uh, you have a lot of fun. If you don't enjoy it, yeah, well, yeah, you're doing it wrong. You, uh, there's something wrong mm. for sure. Something wrong. But anyway, Jeez, I love this. We're just watching this now, mate. Uh, yeah. Watching out this game, that this is probably the loosest head we've seen it is. since yeah. the first right. one. Yeah. But uh, the standard's been enormous. Have you seen uh, what uh, Barry Cartwright's been doing out there? The skipper from Zone Two. Well, I've just had to duck away, but as I say, I've just come back and. Uh, well, so far he hasn't put his foot wrong. He's been going to the head yeah. a few down every or now and again, and just completely uh, rescuing and building numbers. He's bowling out of his skin at the moment. There you go. So, could you uh, bowling could you club? Bowling club. Could you bowling club? It was a great little club. Is uh, sadly yeah. the uh, the Labor Club in the East there uh, bought him out for their pokies and shut him down. Could you has it? Mm. Mm. Well, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't know that. No, yeah. no, that's recent. That's mm. a bit rough. And Padstow, oh. I can't remember. They um. Oh, Padstow is going very well. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Good little club, Padstow. Yeah. <coughs> no, I went out there. There was three greens out there, 
Yeah, it's one uh, of uh, down to two now, and there's uh, two synthetics. That's it, two synthetics. So yeah. it's one of the first clubs I visited when I was the regional bowls manager down there. Right. Way. Darren Morrison took me out there. It was a uh, yeah eye opener. He took me there and then went to Cabra Vale Diggers. Right. There's a bit of a difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, chappy out there, uh, Bob Edwards. Bob's been there for years and years. He's uh, well, he's retired from his position, but he's still there. He still <laughs> yep. spends a lot of time with that club. <laughs> yeah, great guy. <coughs> so, so it is pretty loose. A lot of short bowls yeah. here. And one out there to zone uh, zone two. That red one, I'd suggest at least one. I think the blue one, the light blue one on the left, is second shot. Yeah, it's hard to tell. It might have be too red. Yeah, it might be too red because it just yeah. jacks back a bit further than it looks on the screen. Just as we stick our head up over the uh, and look out the windows of the <laughs> at a club that's really built for. You can see across the glass panels across the club. It's really built so that people can sit in here and watch. Cartwright is a little bit tight, but he's in the area again. Is he going to get any jack? Oh, he just sliced little, it. Little touch was, isn't, wasn't a bad thing. And you may have even, believe it or not, stopped at the back there for another shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just the crump, so to speak. But, yeah, moving jack back just a little bit is not a bad thing for him. Oh, John Farr. He got out of jail yesterday, didn't he, on the last end? He did. Yes. He did. You are correct. Against uh, your side. Whoosh. Geez, that cut a long way back. What's he using? XGs. Yeah, that late yeah. turn. Yeah, I think you, could, you can actually draw the shot around that front red one. Okay, Cartwright, he's thrown this one out a bit further. He might even draw the shot around this front red one. Well, look, he's only got to stop within a metre. He's going to do that. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yeah, he's getting better, oh, better yeah, than a metre. Ball. What a bowl. Better than a metre. It's a bit of a target, something to rest on now for John Farr, but, geez, what a ball. It is, and Farr is on a fair track as well, mm. but he looks a bit quick. Yep, just passing yeah. through. So here we go. Is it two or three? Oh, Maybe three, four. Oh, you were right, the two red ones. Uh, yeah, two red balls. And they're going to have a look at more here. Yeah, still looking at that green one. Last one, of, uh, the first one of Bob's as it went through. Uh, Barry, sorry. Lots of B names. I'm calling Ben <laughs> next. <laughs> Captain Grumpy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, Greg, what's next for you, mate? Penance at the weekend? Uh, no, well, no, no. no I've, uh, actually, I've been tied up uh, a little bit. I haven't... Uh, not played not play. uh, this year. Four. I'm actually uh, off to Fingal Bay. Are you? Yeah, I've got son and his wife and three granddaughters. We're going to have a week with them down at Fingal Bay. Good on you, mate. Well, mm. if you're not doing nothing Sunday, call in Nelson Sal Bay. Just, You've known, oh, we we play Nelson, Nelson Bay <laughs> Sunday morning. Yeah. <laughs> we've got to watch. Right. We've got to catch up game. We've got to play on Sunday no, morning, mate, right against right. Nelson Bay. Yes. So that's that was four. It was two. four. So they lead twelve two on this rink now. They're kicking away a bit. Other rinks we see Lagusa in front eight two, and after seven ends and Beasley twenty eight seven on the big board. Wow. Zone two flexing here. Beasley lead eight three. Yeah. Still a long way to go. Definitely a long way to go, and in these sides formats, you know, the uh, those, those margins on a big board can change very quickly. Oh, very quickly. quickly. With them seven ends are looking very good, Benny. Very quickly. Yeah, those seven ends are looking good, <laughs> <laughs> Warren said. He's got a theory that, um, and it, actually something that I'm starting to subscribe to myself, by the way, but uh, the team that's leading after seven ends will usually win the match. 75% of the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So 12-2 after eight. Ten ends to go. 18 end game. One shot and end. That's a very good lead ball. Well done, Colin Wilson. You'll no doubt Barry Cartwright's been the star so far. On yes. This one. He's been magnificent. Oh, jeez. Warren Shipley, life member of West Walls and Soccer Club. <laughs> I'm told. That is correct. 
He's been involved in the soccer many years ago, Warren. Yes, who gave me up there, mate? Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> was that? Uh, John John Bullock. Ah, oh, yes, Johnny. All right, I'm going for a comfort break, lads. You got right. it for a sec? Yep. All right. So, Colin Wilson. Yeah, you know, you're... Uh, you add. You uh, should be very pleased with yourself too, Warren, with the uh, big win at the State se- yeah, Senior Singles. Yeah, yeah, mate, yeah. Sort of <laughs> very lucky. good. Got a bit lucky. I lost the first sectional game and ended up getting through, so... Yeah. That's bold. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's got on... <coughs> yeah, unfortunate... Um, some days down there at Dubbo with uh, wet weather. Yeah, yes, we had to shorten one particular day and play three sectional games in the one day, but uh, caught up and everything ran smoothly from then, so it was pretty good. <laughs> and of course, too, it was luckily with um, daylight savings still being on. Yeah, that certainly helped, and yeah, we had a chat to the Greenkeepers about it as well, and and took their advice about we were thinking about playing into the evening on that one particular day, but they thought they the Greens had suffered a fair bit with the water that that had fell out of the sky, and so um, yeah, we made the decision to play the three games in the in the one day, one day. rather than to play that go into the night. Yeah, but it caught up, and yeah. Was in the we just followed the current state conditions of play where if you do play sectional play you can play them the three shorter games in the one day so we followed them and yeah everything everything got back on track uh, all good yeah been great some of these events the state championships uh, run well Dubbo was great hosting out there with the three clubs there they were fantastic and. This event's been brilliant. Yes, real good. Hopefully um, we might be able to uh, entice some other zones or will be regions after the 1st yeah. of July. Yeah. So yep. hopefully uh, we get some new regions come along and join us and take part in this event because uh, it's a great event, especially, uh, and it gives the guys who uh, are not selected in the like if I know they're seventy year old and over, yep. But they are not not selected for the seniors or whatever it um, to represent their zone or region that's going to be. Um, that's right. Yep. It gives them a chance to participate in this event, and, and certainly does. And and it's, there's no restriction, so you can be selected in the yeah. senior in the zone, and the veteran in the zone, and the open in the zone if you're good enough as well. So exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, uh, some of them, some of them define their age, Greg. Out there, they do. <laughs> they do. My word. What do we got here? Looks like Zone Two is holding three at present. Again, yes. Looks like it. Yeah. And this, you see, John Farr just calling for Mark Barton just to try and draw around and sit on that red one, fall back in off the red bowl. Just needs to navigate his front one. Not sure whether he's done that or not, though. Is he there? Uh, I think he's just going to clip his front. Run into that bowl. Now it's open. Yeah. Open draw now. So these two sides met in the final last year, and it was zone 10 hoisting the trophy. That's right. Yes. Marylands. What's Mark going to do with this one now? Yeah, well, he's opened it up for himself. He so did. A similar bowl to his last now. There's no traffic. See what he can do. <laughs> is he in the area? Or is it just going to duck away? Or is he going to get a slide really? off no, the no, front? No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, oh, he got the slide. Got the jack across to his <laughs> own bowl. Well, well he's going to want... <laughs> 
and some cheers have erupted over there because uh-huh. uh, we've got a, a group of the Zone 13 boys have decided to hang around. <laughs> And they're down there now. They were giving me heaps as I was getting water for you guys. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, they said it's too hot to sit outside and watch the bowls. So they're, yeah, they're in, all... inside watching the uh, watching it anyway. That's right. Yeah. Well, skipper's crossing now. Wow. Oh. Scruffy just played a bomb there. Absolute <laughs> ripper. But this man has been on fire so far. Oh, this is a tough shot. Yeah, I think it's a, a can't right draw. His mates in Hamilton North would have seen these shots time and time again, I would imagine. Is he wide enough? Oh, I think he's going to wreck, is he? Is he going to wreck? Well, that's his own. He's turning Brown. up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a little more open now. That's out, well out of the way. That's it. Half a bowl wider. He was all over that. The standard of the play is brilliant. I'm yeah. loving it. And I think the score line doesn't absolutely does not reflect what's happening in front of us. I mean, look at the head there. Oh. All the games across the board this week, uh, the last Certainly. couple of days have been really great. There have been some really great heads. Oh, he doesn't want to do it himself. Oh, he missed it. End up in a really good spot. And you finished with a win this morning, Greg? Yes, yes. Uh, it was a good uh, good result there this morning. We kept great. watching the master board. It was uh, very close uh, yes. most of the way. Yeah, it was, it yeah, was. Got away in them at the end. Just held on at the end there, uh, yeah. Nine and a half a half. It's, uh, is he any wider this time? I think he is. Look out. But these things are... Look out. They, they come home. Look out. Oh, he's a bit high. Oh, oh, oh it yeah. Maybe. Hit the shadow out of the yeah. He's got shot. Hey. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> he hit that red one and Fell flopped. In. I couldn't see in the shadow. Yeah, that's a shade, yeah. yeah. What the... <laughs> Just happened there. He's ca- he can't miss. One down. Right. Uh, Far will be looking to land that ball. Well, he, he's just uh, going to play the same shot as he played last time. Yep. Yeah, yeah, the hole's not there anymore. No, I'm oh, staggered by that. Oh, is he tighter this time? It, yes, he yeah, is. Yeah, I don't think he's going to come around. Yeah, it hit nothing either. So somehow... Now we're going to have a look. Somehow I think Zone Two's dragged this, <laughs> dragged this out, out of another mire, and uh, goodness me! So while we're there, I'll just look up. Thirty to seven on the big board after twenty-five. Zone Two with a huge jump-out lead to start with. Yep, it's Laguza nine two. I believe after yep. eight. Zone two. And Not Beasley, one. nine wow. three. It was two, was it? Two. Uh, I, I think one. Just one. One, one, yeah. Should, yeah, should yeah, be one. one. I, can't, I can't remember nah, where the other one to go to. Two, yeah. 25, so 31 7 after 25 ends. And 13 2 here after nine. So halfway. Willy Wagtail invading the green. It's a brave little thing. I saw it yesterday yeah. too. <laughs> Some about green keepers. I know a lot of green keepers manage to tame wild birds around the things. You always see the guys out there with little bits of meat yeah, for their yeah, yeah. or something like that. And comes yeah. with working out with them. Maitland, I've got a few friendly magpies up there. Uh, so it was uh, one of the clubs in Canberra I went to, I think it was, oh, it was Canberra Bowling Club. We got a couple of really friendly magpies there. Scared the heck out of me the first day. Was that right? They just <laughs> came and started pretty much jumping on me. I was, Whoa! What's going on here? That was very oh, strange. Great lead bowl here. Well done. Yeah. Well, Cartwright swapped Kill Frame's hand a few ends ago, and Kill's found his lob ever since. Actually, a little bit staggered by the way this game's going. By the way, there's not much more that Zone 10 can do. <laughs> no. 
Well, you know, if it wasn't for right. Cartwright, it could have been Zone 10 leading by that by the scoreline we've got at present. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> I very much think you're right. I mean, pulled a six back, to, six down to a two up at one stage. He's uh, the last end is another great example. He's putting his bowls in there, giving them a good chance, and they're resting in the correct spots. Yeah. And it's lovely, absolute. Uh, pristine display of uh, rescue bowls from the skip in the end. I think this uh, lead zone two of surprise zone ten a bit. I'm sure it has. Yeah, they're coming in pretty confident. They they would have expected a close game, but they wouldn't have expected 31-7 after 25. So that's no. n- that's nearly halfway through the game. Yes. But uh, as we said earlier, though, the, the boys flew out of the boxes against you yesterday afternoon too, Greg, with uh, yeah, it, zone, zone two, didn't they? Yeah, they jumped out we, and, and uh, you pegged them back and pegged them back. All of a sudden, uh, you're in front. But we couldn't hold the lead yeah, there yeah. yesterday afternoon. Yeah, I think it was yeah twenty to three on the master board at one stage, and then next minute you were leading twenty four to twenty or something like that. I think it did come back real quick. Yeah. <sighs> nope, that one's going around. Just around. So the uh, the dark blue SOV a kill frame there still holding the shot. Where's his other ball gone? It's yeah, out. yeah. It's uh, a little bit narrow. Oh, so it's, yeah, it's on the green over yeah, to the left now. Yeah. This one's going to get away yeah. too because they're getting caught now because the brood, there's no wind at all. Not the, up. Shot. The, yeah. f- the flags are not moving. Uh, so a bit of breeze that was holding the bowls out has disappeared and they're certainly taking plenty of grass on either hand at the moment. Uh, the Greens are certainly a credit to uh, Mickey Woods and uh, young Blaine Cook, the Greenkeepers here. I reckon we they talk, do a great job. We talk about Greenkeepers a lot, mate, and I agree. They, they've done a spectacular job here. But the other, the other thing that is helping is that bright blue skies and hardly a single breath of wind fluttering the flags around. Look at that. So what we see here... Oh, Dow, he's going to turn up an opposition bowl here. Just running off it. But may have turned it in for shot. It's a... I don't know, I don't, I don't think no. it's shot, no. no. But this made that hand a little more open for that kind of thing if he wants. What's out the back here on the left? That's a uh, zone three bowl, so that's a... Uh, that's Kill Frames bowl off to the left-hand side, about a metre and a half off the line, right near... Uh, Right near John Parr's foot there, yeah. yeah. His left foot. So there's a bowl out the side there. Out on the other side, not much for zone two. Zone ten, looking for multiples at the moment. They know that they're chasing their tails a bit. This one's going to get away. And come off his bowl. Might nope. turn it up. Oh, well, it's got it too solid. Skipper not upset. There's two there. They've got two seconds, maybe three. Probably three seconds. Yep. Yeah, you see Cartwright wanting another one in the head somewhere. Does so anyone know, watching for the first time or doesn't know what I mean by three seconds, it means the next three shots after the one that's next to Jack belong to... Uh, Look at this. Uh, it's a very good ball. So good ball it out. Wow. And they can both go. That is a brilliant shot, but you're exactly right. It's a bit of a target now, and, you know, the kill. Jack goes out of bounds and uh, goes back on the tee. They're holding that two zone tent. Yeah. Anything but short. Yeah, well, it's certainly on the attack. Yeah. How quick's it going to swing? He's, he's coming home. I reckon this is it. He's got it. Nailed it. Jack. Boom. And it's gone all the way back to the ditch. Yeah. Stayed in. So, Benny gets to play with his cameras. 
my oh God, I'm going to struggle to get the, the full view of this. <laughs> but there you go. We'll have a, <laughs> we go. We'll have a look with, a, with this, I think. So them three bowls that you can see in the bottom... Uh, left corner are not part of this. this that's right. That's <laughs> rank eight. Have to reiterate that. Yeah, so, on rank eight. so Jack's about a foot and a half inside. So if I uh, grab this and we'll go there a little bit further, so you can see the out, the outer, the outer rink there, just to the left of uh, that player. I think Sam might be clever enough to move them out the way for us. Will he? Yeah. No, Dale is. <laughs> <laughs> so they've moved him out the way. We'll go to this camera just while the captain's lining up just to yeah. show you where it is. There it is. That's the boundary peg, so that's the out-of-bounds marker. You can see the... Yep, and there's Jack sitting in the ditch under the marker. Yeah, the white peg with the golf ball on the top. So essentially he's just got to beat those front two and stay on the green. Well, he's beat the front two, and by the applause, he's staying yep. on the green yeah. as well. In line and everything. That's a great shot. Tough shot on a quick green. That, that is, is a tough very, shot. Very little difference between going two feet long and uh, being perfect. This one looks ditch weight. I'll tell you what. Whoa. Is it going to stop? Is it going to stop? It's yes, stopped. it is. What a ball. <laughs> <laughs> great ball. I gave that up. I gave that up halfway down. That pulled up beautifully. It did. <laughs> it did. <laughs> yeah, one of the Zone 10 guys behind us having a yell. He's having fun. <laughs> Cartwright. I think he's attacking that ball. Mm. Is he? Is he going to try and draw oh, it? Oh, well. No, he's on the attack. He's going to try and sit it in. How's he looking? It's a good question. I'm not sure about pace here, actually. Oh, Clunking no. that one. He's gonna, that's his own. So, it's a yeah. brilliant bowl from Detroit. John Farr. Brilliant. Well, what's he going to come and look at here? Well, he's got it. He's going to come look at the distance from the ditch, I'd say. He's got, well, he, they, he can't not play it. Getting one's not good enough at this point. Well, there's no... I can't see any other options. It looks as though zone two have got second, third and fourth. Uh, he's not. He might might be just going to take the one. <laughs> Casey rolls his own in. What could they be talking about here? I don't know what's going on here. Bill Ahoy is just to say hi there. <laughs> to say hi. <laughs> he's a good bloke. Wow. One of the best uh, names in bowls too. Bill Ahoy. The Bill. One's Bo, Bo Prado. That's a good name. And Cullen Murray, <laughs> the, th the three that I remember straight away. Billy, Billy, are we putting a few two dollar coins into our money jar before Saturday's game, Benny? <laughs> after last week, last week's game. Billy Ahoy, <laughs> old Armadale boy. Uh, the, uh, yeah, Billy. Yes, I don't think there was much. No, I thought I'd, going into that one. No, I'd, <laughs> very safe shot. He was. Uh, so they'll take one. Couldn't play any silly there. So they get off there too. Yeah, it's a good bit. After 10 shots, 13 3. Masterboard has 31 10 now. So uh, it looks like Zone 10 actually won a couple of shots there. That's after 27. And I've got to hit this button. So, Benny, the the fine tin we have that, obviously, if you're not in front after seven ends, that's uh, $2 <laughs> for everyone. Instant fine. <laughs> <laughs> if you drop a four or more, that's $2 for everyone. No. Oh. Well, let's drop a jack in the ditch. If you, throw a, if you throw a jack in the ditch and don't win the end, that's $2. <laughs> if you're late for the meeting, that's $2. So Billy's uh, a good one for all this. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Billy Billy plays with with me on uh, when you're on Terry Andrews rink, and yes, we're we're very good contributors to the fine tin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and the last one is if you don't, if you get outscored over the last five ends, that's oh. two dollars as well. So, and that money comes in uh, handy for a refreshment at the end of the season. That's the go. <laughs> He knew that one was uh, uh, not the best straight away. Turn his back on it. He had lean on there saying go Newcastle. Raymond Terrace lad and uh, looking at uh, playing lead this week. I think uh, Raymond Terrace, uh, I'll see you tomorrow Ian actually. Well he'd be uh, proud of the boys. He's one of our zone selectors as well go. already. So he'd be proud of how the, this group of gentlemen are going. <laughs> and Lee's saying that's why I retired. I couldn't afford the fine. <laughs> <laughs> so he yes, was, uh, he's Jack throwing his magnificent <laughs> <hands>. <laughs> no, That's it. I'll see him tomorrow at, uh, at Platinum. For uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night is East Maitland versus Raymond Terrace. And that's going to be a ripper of a game. Dare I ask who'd you tip, Benny? Ah, uh, you can ask. I'll have a look. I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> I'll go back and have a squiz. We'll be broadcasting who uh, tip, tipped what this Is week. Is that played at uh, East Maitland? That'll be at East Maitland, yep. About a four-hour drive for me tomorrow. Actually, don't worry Easy about one. who you tipped. Who the leader tip? <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually don't know. That. I don't have the admin access, but... Uh, um, let's see if we can find that. So, a couple of loose ones from Kel mm. Frame on this end. Yeah. Zone 10 holding three at present. Daryl McKinnon will be looking here to tidy this up a bit. He just needs to he's slip under, the bowl. under. Yes, he is. He's played it quite well. It's a very good shot. Very good bowl, Daryl. If not shot, second shot. So, well played. So, this week I've tipped Warilla. Who are they against? Engadine. Right. At Warilla. I've picked St John's Park over Belrose, Cabra Matter over Wenty Leagues, Maryland's over Carlingford, and I've picked the away team, Raymond Terrace, Raymond tomorrow Terrace. against East Maitland. Right. But once again, 621 guys, don't listen to me. It's a trip, <laughs> triple header this weekend, isn't it? Triple header? Um, this week, well, I oh, no, have another look at that. I don't know. I just know the ones I'm going to broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, just as we asked that, the tips have gone up. Oh. Uh, so the staff tips on Facebook, there, there. Andrew Lynn, who is uh, our second best, actually. Andrew Lee's got nine. Andrew's got eight. Billy... On seven. Oh, God, Tim Rowe on seven and me on four. I'm doing the worst in the cl in the place. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, even between us in Mount Lewis and Tarrant Point, everyone's picked Gorillas except for Court, who's picked Ingadine. Come on, Court. Uh, everyone's picked Saints except for Billy, who's picked Belrose, and no surprise there. <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, everyone's picked Cabra except for... Uh, Tim, the Tim, the boss, who's picked Wenty. Everyone's picked Maryland's except for Andrew Lynn, who picked Carlingford. And a clean sweep across the board for the Jets. All right. And the tips. Isn't that interesting? So jump on the Facebook page to have a look at that. Yeah, we're not talking about this head much because, goodness. <laughs> yes, uh, spraying them a bit this time. Uh from memory, Benny, last year in a Grade 1 competition, East Maitland went within a bowl of knocking off Raymond Terrace at East Maitland last year. Jeez. Well, I did say this was a grudge match, yeah. Friday night grudge match. I believe Hayden Bajowski had the chance to win the game but just failed. Oh. The bodge. All the team lists are up on the, uh, what's that thing called? The Facebook page as well. <laughs> it's 
Definitely round three, not round four. Yeah, don't forget about the Tim and Comp. You can still jump in that. At least Maitland, yeah, Bodge is playing in that. With Nathan Mitchell, Ty Turnbull and Daniel Hooker. Uh, Josh Walker-Davis, Michael Abel, Ben Osborne and uh, Troy Burton on the other team. And Jack Rin, Rod Darcy, Tony Wicks and Barry Mungovan of it. That's a... Uh, that's a pretty three pretty strong teams at East Maitland. Well, you've got the number one player in Australia there, Josh Walker Davis. Yep. Currently number one in the Tasman national rankings. Tasmanian grain keeper. There you go. Nice guy too. Uh, we don't make him cabin matter. And has his recreational pilot license. Does go. he? Yes. And I said, what does that mean? And he said, well, well, that means that I have to land in the same airport as I take off in, so he can't <laughs> can't go too far, can't, can't strafe too far. <laughs> so, where are we at here? Who's actually holding the shot down there? It's really hard to tell. I usually well, say the jack high, but it looks like the back one to me. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think it still might be the front brown. Well, it's mm -hmm. the other front brown, and but you may be right. Benny, it's hard to tell with the angles, isn't it? But there's plenty of room for these blokes, yeah. the way they've been playing. That's right. <laughs> Jeez, that's gone out a long way, but once yeah. again, that late hook. It'll come back. Has he got enough weight to that's get him the to the jack, though? Oh, just short. Yeah. Let's have a look at that head from this angle, see if I can see anything different. The answer's not really. No. This could very well be the shot in the bowl in Barry Cartwright's hand, <laughs> the way he's been playing. He hasn't missed many. He's almost throw it backwards and still get a shot. Well, what's he done here? Well, oh, he's no. around, he's around he's that front slide one. off there off and, and get the shot. Look at My this. word. <laughs> what is going on? And a touch. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just can't miss. Well, if you make a highlights package. Well, just, his, yes. just his shots, incredible. You could say that was luck, but I think he played to use their bowls to work back into the jack there. Well, he's an attacking shot. Is it going to get just down? Not, he just won't let go it's quick enough. Not let go. Oh, geez. Was that a frustration bowl there? <laughs> the way Barry's been playing. I'm only laughing at that because I, I do that. And I, tell, <laughs> I, I usually warn, warn my teammates, hey, I'm just going to throw this because I'm cranky. <laughs> my brother-in-law knows all about it, Jason Bailey. He, uh, I play with him a fair bit. So I can't ride again. Yes. It looks tight this time. A bit tight up. Yeah, it's going to get away. Right, nah. Done the damage. Take one. Another one in Newcastle. So they go to a 14-3 lead after 11 ends on this rink. Mm -hmm. Across the rinks, Laguza leads Dale Maitland. Nine, three, is it nine? I don't see, you can't see behind Sam. You just move out the way. Yep. Yep, nine, three. And Michael Beasley is... Leading Trevor Rimmer 9 6 after 10. And 32 12 after 30 ends. We'll go to 54 ends on the big board, but we have seven ends remaining on this rink. Uh, I think the far rink will be the last one finished. Uh, they're on. Oh, they're not. They had a couple of umpires calls and they're still yeah. going quickly. The middle uh, rink's on 9. Rink. Yeah. And both skippers standing right in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, lads. <laughs> Knock on the window. <laughs> nah. So the other team, Raymond Terrace tomorrow night. Matty Bouse, Lennon Scott, Brendan Stokes and Josh Bell. Lee Schreiner, Jason Stokes. Dean McWinnie and uh, Timmy Twining. Peter Taylor. Tails, as he loves being called. Shannon Giddo's like <laughs> Freeman and Ian Lean. So, Raymond Terrace have got, certainly got a big team there. That's going to be huge tomorrow night. I'm really looking for. I love pen, Platinum Pennant. It's, my, it's just so good. It's one of the best things I reckon Bowles New South Wales have done in a while. All right. So, this is better. 
by the lead straight away. It is. Certainly uh, taking some graphs out there now. Boy, is it, yeah. It'd be great fun. Yep, well, probably two there now to, uh, yeah, two I'd say to uh, zone 10 at the start of that one. At least one. No one's going to cross in front by the looks. You talk yeah. about how much grass they're uh, taking, mate, and they're... Fair weight running through you as well. So Warren heading out. He's tossed it out there for it to come home. May have a little bit too much on it. Yeah. It's going to go around the back. McKinnon don't know, doesn't need much of a correction. Well, I can tell you, I just put a stopwatch on that one. It's gone a bit further than you, than than the normal measure of 27 metres, but that ran that stopped at 18 seconds. Yeah, and it's got quicker and quicker as the afternoon's wearing on. There's a better bowl. Yeah, that's yeah, a big bowl here. Are you going to wear, use bright red bowls like that? You want to put them in the right <laughs> spot, don't you? Yes, yeah, you need them in the right position. I love those bright red bulbs, by the way. That's <laughs> yes, when you go back and remember the days when they were all uh, dark yep. bowls. Yeah, right? yeah, not wooden. Well, <laughs> I, not, I, well I, not that far back. <laughs> Actually, I have a set of old wooden bowls at home. How many sets would you have had uh, since you started playing, Greg? How many sets you? Well, had? Warren, that's a good question. Since the seventies, nineteen seventy, you said you I, started. Yeah, yeah, I brought a new set of bowls uh, when I first started. Old heads of lights, still got them. So, what were the? What size were they? There was four and fifteen, sixteen. Four that's and a fifteen, good shot. sixteen. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yes. My, f my first set was a f uh, five and a sixteenth. Oh, my yeah. first set. Yeah. yeah. Sixteenth of what? An inch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we go back and talk, that, you don't remember that. Sixteenth <laughs> of an inch. Wow. Uh, what, what is going on? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, it's run two, three, four. I think I'm on about my fifth, sixth set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, he's going to roll this down. Yep. So oh, just tucked it around the jack. Uh, it's a bit unlucky there. That's it. So zone two holding two there. They did put two good bowls in. And always the same maker bowl, mate. Or have you changed and varied? And what oh, have yeah, you done different there? makes. Different makes <laughs> and changes. Different, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever, Pass the, it everyone. whatever the sponsor gives you. Is that no, 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 Warren, no. <laughs> yeah, the sponsor, the Minister for Finance at home. <laughs> oh, here we go. Is it? Oh, we're gonna... Well, that's three. Well, that's another counter. And a nice wall to sit on, although there is a hole there that they can find. Any bit of jack movement. So they haven't got a lot going from Zone 10 at the moment. On this head. Oh, that one's tight. It looks tight. Yeah. He knows it. Um, scruffy. He knew that straight away, but that's his own bowl he's going to promote. How far is he going to promote it? Not far Whoa. enough. Oh, yeah, you're right. That, that's a good noise. He may have cut one out, but I doubt it. I think it's still those three, uh, Jack High and the one back just behind Jack there. Very nice. So you talk about types of bowls. Um, bowls New South Wales, the office, and uh, has a really nice collection of history, historical bowls and things in there. And uh, yeah, held my first set of wooden bowls just there. Just picked them up because they're in the, one of the trophy cabinets, and they're they're quite big. They're bigger than they're <laughs> what we use now. They're 
What amazing. They weren't the first, the French Drakes, mate, were they? <laughs> the Drakes. <laughs> well, who was that first Bollies? Um, there's a statue of him in the foyer in the... Uh, I can't remember his name. That's terrible. You think of a bloke who loves bowls history, you'd know. Well, he's Cartwright. He's looking to yeah. get to the light blue bowl here. He gets down. Well, he's played it pretty well if he's got enough weight to get there. And it looks as though he has. Yeah, he has. And he's played this very well. That's oh, a great, great bowl in there. Yes, Barry Cartwright. John Young. He's playing well. John Young, so I'm pretty sure oh, yes. we've got a yeah, set of John Young's bowls in there. Yeah, I was well, going to say, I thought... Is it going to hang on long enough? Is oh, he going to get a rub off his own? Slide no, will help. No. Oh. No. Yeah, what was that? Yeah, those bowls have been in the, in the main office for some time. They, they were, yeah, I can recall the, the old yeah. display cabinet when you walk, uh, come out of the lift. Yeah. That's right, yep. Yeah. There. So that's there. the one. Yeah. And this big, big marble statue of John Young and and all that beautiful history in there. There's a, a cupboard out the back with a lot of old historical books and manuals. And bowl. I've got a bowler's oh, annual from 1906 there. It's covered in this beautiful suede. It's really right. gorgeous. And it's a fascinating document. It talks about uh, Tamworth Bowls in, in the introduction by the president at the time from 1906. And now um, how to build a green and how greens are popping up all over the place in Metro Sydney and how terrible it is that um, it hasn't happened in Tamworth yet. <laughs> he said, specifically said it there. Now there's five clubs it's here. It's one, of the, one yeah. of the strongest, <laughs> strongest no, districts going around. So, <laughs> so oh, I reckon three. Well, it could even be yeah. more. Could be more than that. Yeah, I reckon four now. Yep, because it. Oh, does the red one? Does your shiny red one count, Benny? Well, that's that what we were, we were saying. It might might have cut down just knocking that front one in. I didn't think so, but magic fingers will tell us. No, does it? Three. <laughs> yep. Where's number three pointed? 13, up uh, 17, three after 12 ends. Um, if I have to be honest, they're not coming back <laughs> from this. Um, this is just one of those things. The uh, zone 10 is going to cob it. We talk about one and a half a game. Uh, one and a half shots an end an end to uh, bring it back I can't see it happening here the uh, zone 2 are just being too dominant and it's not the zone 10's playing poorly by any means oh, it's a great heads on across the uh, across the three rings it's just they're getting every, every time they coming to the skips time uh, Barry Cartwright's just just absolutely destroying them. it's going to be heartbreaking you know? <laughs> so 17-3 on this on this rink Oh, can't see the other rinks at the minute. We'll get some scores on them ones for you in a sec. But uh, yes, as Ben said, 38-12 on the on the one that counts. 10-3, Lagusa's leads Maitland, and I think a shot of Beasley's. Beasley's 11. Uh, I think it might be 11-3 as well. I just can't see it. See that side of the board. Oh, no, it'll be 11-6, sorry, to make up the 12. 11-6. After 11 as well, so we mightn't see this game out if it zone 10 doesn't make a comeback shortly. Uh, frame with two... Cracking lead yeah, balls. Good. Very good. Big improvement on his last two ends. Yeah, John Young wrote a book called The Ancient Game of Bowls. I'm going to have to look that up <laughs> just while, while we're sitting here. But there is a so zone two holding two there. Good lead bowling all round in the end. Everything within within that uh, half a metre. These bright red bowls of uh, Daryl McKinnon. Daryl McKinnon. Uh, trying to add, but he's going to sneak around the back. It's going to be a handy, 
Handy ball there. Yeah. I said there's only ten to be surprised by this result. I'm surprised I'm by sure this. I'm sure they would. I'm I'm surprised. I, I uh, so far, well, I say result, but the uh, position they're in at the moment, they would not have expected to be here. They would. They've been pretty powerful through their section. Now, this kind of thing happens in sport. You know, you watch a, a really powerful team get to an AFL grand final and fall over at the wow. last hurdle and. Yes, yes, as you say, any, any sport. Any sport. Bright red. I love these bright red bowls. I love that they're identifiable immediately. And he's just going to rest on his back one and sit. Yeah. Magnificent. Another shot. I think Zone 10, they started their campaign. Did they have a draw first game? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah against zone, zone 11, I think it was. Yeah. And then they both had a a win in their second game. It's, it's got a, oh, oh, just ran through the hole. Yeah, it was forty-eight all. Um, did you get a touch too? I think Zone Ten won the two rinks, didn't they? Five and a half. One. Zone Eleven won two. Oh, Zone Eleven won the two. Mm. So all right, okay. Oh, yes, that's right. It was Zone 11 leading the section going into the last game. And Zone 13 got the better of them to allow Zone 10 to jump them both. <laughs> Jackie Aldridge, tell me, one sixteenth of an inch is 1.58 millimetres. <laughs> and you're welcome. Yes, thank you, Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the people on our feeds, mate. They, they <laughs> give us heaps. It's great. They're good people. Has anyone got their uh, grass pretty well here? We're just waiting to see what happens next, essentially. Still holding holding at least one. Who's the purple bowl? That's, um... That was Glendale's last one. Oh, here we go. Nope. Well, it's Ooh. gone here. No. Well, I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's no. <laughs> still one, one to zone two down there. Down at the other end. Look at the background there, that club. The, all the solar panels on the roof is great to see. It's a, <laughs> What you see there behind the players is that's just a long bank of windows with a bar against it, So we can all, which is where we're set up. Yeah. And you can see all the way down, it's just a great spot for sitting around and viewing bowls to our left. Or to the right of screen there, there's another little, um, what's it called, the outdoor Iron Jack, um, Iron Jack's patio or something like that out the uh, out the side, and there's a seats and tables and another bar to sit and watch the bowls, and then the bowl shop, which I haven't ha actually plugged yet this time, but uh, it's the best bowl shop in the region. Really good, cheap ladies' clothes there at the moment. All the uh, brands you know. No, that's cutting. Yeah, not there. So a little bit of a V of bowls, a mix of bowls in the back, and one lonely red fella sitting in there holding shot for zone two. Um, I'll just show you this. This is what I was talking about with the patio. You can see everyone lined up against the, uh, against the bar there, enjoying the refreshments and the uh, hospitality of the club, and then that's the bowls shop in there. See all the equipment lined up. Whoop, too fast. Sorry, everyone. So, yeah, great place here at South Tamworth Bowling Club. Well worth a visit. That is a unique delivery. It is, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> We've all got a different delivery. Yeah. Oh. And that one is certainly different. But it's not how you deliver. Here, here it's the it end comes. result, and there it is. The result. <laughs> Non-stop. All day. Someone just give him the MVP award. Yeah. This is chaos. We actually uh, 
all the players have a little have a little slip that they need to vote for vote, the player yeah. of the rink and uh, I'll be very surprised if Cartwright's not on three of them. You're not allowed to vote for yourself, so... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's the only thing stopping him from getting four at this this stage, I would imagine. Well, Scruffy just saying, just touch that, Jack will kick across to us. And it will. Actually, the uh, the biggest interest with that voting will be who Barry votes for because he can't vote for himself, so he'll have to vote for one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> Might vote for his opposing skipper. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Doink. Well, in and out, still trying to move uh, move Jack, I'd suggest. There's not much of a draw. He's got to be positive into the head to, to move Jack around and make something of this. Ian Lean saying, uh, Cardi for PM. Yeah. <laughs> He's playing some kind of game. So the call was just to get around the back of that red one. Where it can well, he might try, but he's just going to end up next well. to Jack. Anyway. Oh, he's going to come in. Oh, he's going <laughs> to give it a bump. Onto his own. Jack, onto oh, here. Yeah. Is he? Oh, oh, no. Is there a chink? Oh. Oh, did he stay with it? <laughs> up and down. It's the first, thing, first oh. time I've seen him, seen him make a mistake all game. <laughs> He'll be devastated. We'll go from Captain Happy to Captain, back to Captain Grumpy. <laughs> well, is there an opportunity now for Ten to make a few shots here? I don't know at the back there if they can squeeze that jack through to where they're standing on the green. I <laughs> All right, John Farr with the last bowl and 13. Can he make something of this? He's got a bit on it, obviously. Let's see if he can get some Let's kind see. of result. Oh. He's missing everything. Boop. Um, no. Just held out on him. Well, it's three shots to zone two. Mm. Oh, yeah. They jumped further really? ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we call that badly. Yes. <laughs> Twenty to three after thirteen, and the first blowout game we've seen on the uh, live stream rink too. By the way, uh, thirty-six, forty-six, twelve. Zone ten score is just not moving. I'm only adjusting one in one side of the scoreboard at the moment. Thirty-six. So. Punch that up. 20 to 3 after 13 ends it here. 46 12 after 36 on the big board. And the uh, oh, just touch. The other two rings. Yeah, 13 to 3. The score is really. Uh, 13 to 3, Laguza and Beasley. Is thirteen six. <laughs> yeah, a bit I. Uh, Kind of slows you down on this side of the um, cameras. I can tell you when uh, when it gets a bit blown out, you're, you're hoping for something to happen on the zone ten side, but uh, at the moment it's pretty scattered and uh, all over the shop. Thirteen of eighteen completed, of which zone two of one ten of the thirteen ends. We'll just show you this as that bowl comes to rest once again. This is the trophy they're playing for uh, on the left-hand side, and that's the plate. Started in 2018, zone nine, uh, sorry, zone 15 won it in 2019. Spicy cough stopped it for a bit, and then we're zone 10 twice. They were looking for the three-peat here. At this stage, you have to assume they're not going to get it. Yeah, mate. 
Wilco, grab that. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a nice heavy one. Great trophy. Great trophy. So I've had that sitting next to me the whole time. I was, uh, <laughs> you can't, can't drink out of it because it's got some holes in it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just chuck it up on the bench in front of there if you want me to. Uh, yep, another good jack high bowl. And they're crossing side to side here. Champion Champion's not too far away either, Benjamin. Oh, so no, they're not. So oh, much good. going on. It's so oh. good. And it's, yeah, busy, busy, busy times here at the moment. It, for everyone at Bowl Season Fails, so first of all, uh, we've got juniors next week at Warilla. It's the next thing coming up. Uh, I think, uh, was it Ro uh, Clem Rosé's uh, grandson's playing down there. He'll be down there with us. He, he's been in this tournament. And uh, 99 of the best juniors in the state, and therefore if they're from New South Wales, usually the country, uh, Playing there as well. Great shot. Beautiful shot. Great ball. Well, here's zone three. Can uh, really uh, appreciate, uh, well, congratulate the young Timmy. <laughs> yeah, mate. There's Wilco on the left there receiving his life <laughs> membership life from membership. zone three. Excellent. Yeah, from Al and, uh, Rummery, uh, our zone vice president. What's in the box, mate? You got a shirt that says life member, and what was in the little yeah, box? Yeah, a little medallion also with life member on it from zone three. Magic. Lovely. Yeah, beautiful. Well, second shot there, pro no, not quite second shot, I'd say. So. Uh, it's a zone two bowl on the outside, so one little lonely uh, zone ten bowl holding shot. Where'd those scoreboards go? Yeah, as I was going to say, our zone three juniors have uh, really played, really done well uh, this year. Excellent. Morning. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Billy Glenn, Glenn Baxter saying, yeah, sounds like the location here is better than the bunker we're at, at in Fig Tree. That's an, I'll never forget that. <laughs> That's, that was my first big commentating job when we were sitting What's in this. That? In what can only be described as a dungeon <laughs> underneath <laughs> everything. Couldn't see the bowls. I actually don't know why we went down there. Had no idea. I don't know why <laughs> we were up on that veranda, mate. I would have, yeah, exactly right. The big veranda <laughs> up the front. <laughs> when Dial is going to duck Jack. under enough, is he? Oh, oh you got a touch. But not enough. No, that's what David's doing the uh, umpire. The, uh, Courses, isn't he? Dave Cameron conducting the. Uh, yeah. Yeah, conduct some coaches' courses. Coaching. Yeah. Well, it's 49 12 on the big board now. We're uh, really reaching the stage where. Zone, well, Zone 12 hasn't moved off 12 on that big board for a long, long time. It's uh, I haven't had to adjust that at all. It's getting a bit surprising, but they are holding one here. Could be two, two, two now, now, two in fact. <sighs> but just wait for it. Yes, because here yes. comes Barry Cartwright. Barry Cartwright, yeah. Cartwright. Yeah. Strike, <laughs> Matt. What else have we got here to plug while we go around? Oh, yeah, I can show this. The uh, Pino Cruises Platinum Pennant Tipping Comp. It's not too late. Only two rounds in. Uh, three or four night cruise for two. Two minor uh, prizes to be won as well. So jump on that. Uh, have a look at the Bolsi of the Files website for how to sign up. And uh, get in there and enjoy. Just add a little bit more excitement to your Platinum Pennant experience. Cartwright's Bowls on the way. Oh, he's got a bit too much on this one. Not going to get back in time. I'm staggered. <laughs> <laughs> he's what? He's missed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John Farr looking to add another to the count. Pretty good track here. His weight looks pretty good as well. Yeah, I reckon he's, he's here. Home. And yeah. He's played it brilliantly. Brilliant ball. 
Well, absolutely right. There's three yeah. there to uh, zone 10. <clears throat> and But I tell you what, something to crash into, isn't it? Doesn't have to be heavy. <laughs> I just wondered what he was doing. He's getting out of the way of the camera. <laughs> I think he was moonwalking there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, there's some oh, funny things he's there. Oh, he's in line. the area. He's in the area here. Is he going to get a rub off the white one? No, he's going to. No, oh, no. no. <laughs> Wrong side. Oh, oh. oh, geez. Oh, the other skip. John Farr saying, what happened? Yeah. What, <laughs> happened? Oh, what? We're shot. I don't believe it. <laughs> We're all riding that one home. All he's got to do now is match up his last bolt. Well, he's out there again. Has he got the same weight? If he has, he's got another rooper here. Is it going to get down in time? I don't think so. Oh, I'm, I've been wrong it's before, though. Look at this. Trying hard. It's just not oh. going to make it. Jeez, his weight was ideal again. It's just hung out. Could be three here. I don't think it, looking at the third I one. I thought it was three. Or is it... Two, it two. is. Two. two shots. Oh, that's right. Sorry, yeah, Barry's yeah. One came in, yeah. So there we are. He'd be relieved to get off that three. Yep, zone 10, off that three. They're also off the 12 on the on the big board that they've been stuck on the whole time. It's, uh, so 39 ends, 1450. And cause for celebration on the zone 10 camp. Punch that, hit that, and we're back. Twenty to five on fourteen. We have four ends remaining in this twenty twenty four interzone veterans or veterans interzone. My apologies from South Tamworth Bowling Club, hosted by South Tamworth and Zone Three. Uh, and boy, if they put on a show here for us, the. Every st every streaming game has had something really interesting going on, and this one's interesting in the fact that it's probably the result not as close as we we expected. Zone ten looking for the three peak, the third in a row. This veterans zone two. Did we say you've won this before? The inaugural. The inaugural won the first one, and now you're going to win this one, which is uh, ironically the last one in in zone format. Yeah. <laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well. So here we go. Do you remember who it was you were playing against in, uh, in the first one? Who was the opponent? Oh, I do not know. I can't remember. Grandview. Some of these players played in it, though. Mm. Yeah. I know the Yodel up. Maxi <laughs> Dettelbecker, he was part of the team. He'd be able to tell us. But, yes, at Grandview's. Barry Cartwright may have been part of it, too. The Leeds have had a good battle. I'll say that now. I think there's yeah. been very rare, same as Barry Cartwright we're talking about him, but these guys have not been far away from it the whole time. <laughs> and they call him Captain Grumpy. Soon they'll be calling him, uh, oh, geez, what's hiding that? Admiral, <laughs> Admiral Grumpy he keeps getting bigger, bigger and bigger. Prince Grumpy, King Grumpy. And good weight again, little line of bowls there. Let's see what the, the seconds have got now. What's going on the other rinks, mate? I can't see anything. Right out. Uh, yeah, join the club. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, we can do some math. I mean, Beas Beasley, I can see, is 14, 14, and it was okay. six previously, so I'd say it's got to be still six if they've only put the two Do on. So 14, six. And it is 14-6 after 13. Yeah. And, and the Goozer after 12 is 16-3. So, yeah, zone 10 across the board, copying it. 50, playing to 54, so there's 15 shots, 15 ends left on the, uh, on the big board. And, uh... Well, what's the math? I don't even know. The math is 40, 36, 36 shots to get in 15 ends across three rinks. Um, doable. Unlikely. Possible, but not probable. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I, I would have said before that was a good track. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's going to crash something, that. Hit and sit. Or hit and ran through. Out. Still looks like Wonder Zone 2 with the dark blue bowl with kill frames. McKinnon on a pretty good track here by the looks of things as well. Get down to his own or get down to the light blue bowl. Oh, oh, oh well, that's missed. missed but ended counts. Up in a good place. Yep. Yeah, good spot. Yep. Rolled around, flopped down towards Jack. Very interesting how they think this camera's on as well, Benny, isn't it? When they when we're going in the other direction and they duck yeah, down to go past. It's so good. I, look, they're doing so well. I've got to give nothing but credit for yeah. it. The, uh, the paranoia is real. I went yeah. up there and told them was, I had a uh, heated cattle prod ready to go. <laughs> they, uh, uh, like I said, they have no blame, no recrimination. They get cranky just uh, with the intent on the game. And you're right, though, they're not even uh, playing on this side, but they've jumped out of the way. You know, so the camera's not on this side, and they're jumping out of the way. Startled rabbits. Jeez, Greg, he got cranky with me when I stood in front of it out at Dubbo, mate. Is that right? I did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh boy, did I. Yeah, but you know better. <laughs> <laughs> go back and watch that game, did you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As you should. Uh, bits and pieces. That was one particular piece I watched. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I looked, that's Showing what, off the emblem of the club I it, was. That's what, it, that's what it looked like from behind. Down close is to the jack this time. I think it's just going to get away. Oh, oh, no, it's not. No, no, it's no, it's no. not. He's got a bit of it. And it's gone straight oh. to the zone. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, no, <laughs> look at John. <laughs> excuse me, John Farr just yeah. hanging his head going. Very... <laughs> getting absolutely no luck at all. Uh, Barry Cartwright was quick to put two, the two fingers up there for two shots. Not for anything else, just for two shots. <laughs> <laughs> his reaction was uh, pretty outstanding there, actually. John Farr just... <laughs> Head down. Couldn't believe it. Glendale, uh, yeah. out, out near the advertising hoardings. Can he get back in time? Nope. So there's the scoreboard. The big board. Our yeah, president out there sitting... Just to come away. Sorry, yep. Have you thought of cheek up there? Oh, yes. He's, He's a cheeky very proud. man. He's a cheeky man. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, funny bloke. Oh, geez, that moved quick. Sorry, everyone. Here's statue. I'm just going to watch oh, this yes, and see if he Beasley. pauses at the bottom. Let's see the statue. Oh, no. He's on oh, the, having an attack. Having an attack. Watch the run. Well, he got what he was <laughs> after. Nice, 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 yeah. Pretty happy. So, once again, Mr. Farr's coming in uh, just to couple down with a bit of bad luck. Bang, bang. Oh, oh, it's, well, it's out of the way. He's got another one. Deary me. Elizabeth Rucker, is that Benny Two Shoes? Yep, that's me. Oh, of course I can. So, uh, so the green here is Mick Woods or Michael Woods. Mick he, Woods. He's yes. the president of the uh, Green Keepers Association in New South Wales, <coughs> and two years ago was the Green of the Year, and uh, absolute champion bloke. He was great on the commentary yesterday. Uh, and some of the insights he was giving us were just magnificent. Yeah, right. So talking about the way the stand of this green and. You know what a millimetre of rain does compared to five mil of rain, and it was brilliant and spoke really well as well. I'm very impressed. Very conscientious worker, that man. Oh, you, you know, 
So when, when I, told, I was talking about this around, I talk about them a fair bit because that's often what you see in green keeper. The greens are a good standard. The outside will be a good standard yeah. too. You can get a good yes. view of it. I went in this morning and had stuck my head in his greenkeeper shed just to have a look, and it looks immaculate. Yeah, everything's in its spot. All of the mowers are wrapped up in the same way. All the all the um, wheelbarrows are standing up in their spots and all this stuff. And went up and sa- said at lunchtime, I said, geez, your greenkeeper shed's probably the cleanest and neatest I've ever seen. He's gone, nah, it's filthy. <laughs> I'm going, geez, I could eat off that. Yeah, <laughs> He's yeah, there there in there. It's a greenkeeper shed. Uh, that's Mickey. It was unreal. Yep. Absolutely meticulous. I was a bit worried with the disposable overall standing up. I said, yeah. that, I said that'd, scare, that'd scare me every morning I opened the door. <laughs> You'd look. This is close. <laughs> this is very close. Slide, Jack. Oh, no. oh, oh he's got a shot. Mate. He's got a shot. He's got a couple, I think. Might right. be two. Definitely two. Look at Scruffy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hang on, bowler no, calm. Barry's <laughs> holding his bowl up. Yeah. 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 Look at Barry holding it like yeah. a shot yeah. put. <laughs> and he could happen here. Yeah. Oh, that was funny. Barry got a bowl dead. I reckon I'd be belting the hell out of this at this point. If, he, if nothing else, just because it would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> a fair way up. Give it a crack, mate. Uh, oh, he's on the attack. He's on the attack. It's going to get away on him, I think. Yes, it is. Well, some bowls there to slide off Watch and clatter into. <laughs> Still Still two, two, yeah, Still Still two. Two. two to zone 10. Two to zone 10. Excellent. We go to seven. 20 to seven <laughs> after 15. <sighs> Three ends to go. <laughs> Some yelling and screaming happening. I think it's just, uh, they've just seen that last shot, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. the delay the in, the, in the club. <laughs> I keep forgetting they're watching over there. Yeah. It was funny, yesterday they had the volume turn up so loud that I could hear myself. You could hear, yeah. Six, <laughs> yeah. six seconds after, it was eight seconds, I think, is the delay. Afterwards, it's pretty disconcerting. So they put those two on there, yep, 55-17 on the big board. Let's just expand that so that it looks prettier. Yep. Have you ever had to use the dump button, Ben? The dump button? When someone says something inappropriate or something like that, we oh, can't let it go to air. I don't own one. <laughs> <laughs> had, a, had, some, uh, had some close calls, but no, yeah. <laughs> don't have one. The next, um, the next iteration of these devices, will uh, we'll have that. I'll have a button on here. The only cool button I've got on here is this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> uh, the next bit of kit we get will be... Uh, a little bit more streamlined and lighter. It's due for an upgrade. All of this, all of this equipment has served us very, very well. But uh, really looking forward to getting some new stuff that I that won't break my back every time I talk. Yeah. Around. Where are we at? Twenty to seven after fifteen on this rink. Yeah, yep, can six, check that. Sixteen four next door. That's it. Twenty to seven. Sixteen four. Nineteen on six. Nineteen six. Michael Beasley. That's after it. Fourteen. So. so we. I don't think we're going to see the full fifty four ends uh, somehow. Yeah, it's uh, fifty five seventeen after forty two. They there's twelve ends left. Um, mathematically possible, highly unlikely. Just the way these games have been going. Even the. Um, Oops, I've just hit the wrong button, clearly. Even the uh, the, the uh, ends that the Zone 10 are winning, are, they're winning them closely, very close, and it's just tough. You've got to get mi- many multiples. Yes. I think once we have one rink complete, we might have the whole three complete. Yeah, good shot. And it's Colin Wilson. He's had a good game. Yeah, yeah, as you said good earlier, balls. Ben, both, very good ball. Both leads have performed quite well. Notice the backhand coming back towards the club now is uh, narrowed up a little. Yeah, but, uh, a bit of breeze, breeze coming across. Look at that ball! What a great That's effort! Great ball, Kel frame ball in the area. Yeah, Bree's um, starting to kick up a little bit, as you'll see here, as he pointed out. Wilco, that's a 
It's not much, but it's, it's on, a, on a quick green. Right out there especially, yes. Happening here? What are we waiting for? I don't know. Oh, them blokes must be in the in the line or something like that. Must be standing in his line. Got a bit of delay on the rink next door. Well, they, uh, well, they conducted measure. Yeah, yeah that's that what it was. It. Yep. And that was another two to zone two. On the Goose's rink, which I think they might have already had on the board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 57 17 after 43. Bright red bowls coming down now. Donald McKinnon. Yes. Plays out of the Charlestown Club. I was president of Warners Bay for quite some time. It's funny, the uh, Zone 10 uniforms are pretty similar to Charlestown's uniforms. Yes, they are. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tigs. You watch uh, Barry Cartwright will realise that he's standing in the way in a second. It'll <laughs> dawn on him. There yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> You can hear you, man. Well, <laughs> 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 oh, it's a pretty good bowl here. You can yes, work off the... This. Oh, well, yes. great bowl. Yeah. Magic. Well, you know, that doesn't need to change much from his last one. He was unlucky. Just a fraction more grass which I think he's got this time. Oh, it's going to go a bit quick again, I think. Just going to go. Oh, it's Rick just going to go. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he got that. it. Yes. He's just got one. Yep. Well. Landed the ball, followed through, picked up the shot. That was definitely a thing that just happened. That's... That's that's amazing. We, we both, we all three of us think, I thought it was going. Yeah, thought, <laughs> and, uh, at one point thought it was going Greg, through. Yep. Greg, you're right onto it. Nah, oh, local, yeah, local, local knowledge, was, mate. Local, local knowledge. knowledge. <laughs> 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 Bit of cheat coming up from over there from Chesty, mate. He's <laughs> there. He's full of it. <laughs> oh. Look here. Oh, the reply. Look out. Look out. Oh. There we go. Oh. And it goes to the other red bowl. Oh, jeez. It's Picked a set it up. a little bit too oh. far. It's Scruffy a set up. froze her head back. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Ingram is saying it's 6.30am in Scotland. And she's been watching since N10. Welcome. 6.30am. Great to great to see and hear people watching from. Oh, I love it. Love my internationals. They're uh, beautiful, beautiful people. They contribute nicely. Snoopy on the uh, YouTube as well, and uh, yeah, we always get a few, especially from Scotland. Actually, yeah. and most bowls be indoor in Scotland this time of year. Yeah, <laughs> they'll be coming come getting close to opening their greens. I reckon. Yeah. At Fife, where uh, Mary Ingram's from, that's a beautiful-looking club. I want to go there and, and have a good look. Yeah, that's something we look forward to up in this area. Come the cold. The cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. I can remember we played a interzone at Dubbo and one morning <laughs> I was on the phone and... I, Whoever I was talking to you said, what time do you start? And I said, as soon as Torval and Dean gets off the green from practising, <laughs> we're going on there. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> a 
Yes. Yeah, we did August last year, I think, in Dubbo and uh, no, yeah, one still to the Red Bowl. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and the, the ice every morning was pretty insane, actually. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Yes, when you wake up, they say, oh, minus five, minus six, they're yeah, lovely. Yeah, I don't mind that. Living in Canberra was, was good. Lived in Canberra and did the... Well, uh, it was cold. It's cold there all the time, Yeah, isn't it? no, no, no. <laughs> it's hot in summer. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was crazy. Oh, there's Edinburgh. I don't want Edinburgh. And that's one. Kirk Cody Bowling Club. And that's the one I was looking at in Fife. Go see the speed of an English green. <laughs> will he run this out? Oh, I think he will. Oh, Scottish green. Will he run it out? Just going yeah. to get underneath. Shot ball. Might. Well, it is. Well played. Well Stop and sat. Far. Good shot. Well, can't ride on the forehand here. Looking to come between the two reds or promote the closest red to the to the jack. Well, I don't know whether he's going to hold on long enough here. Yeah. He may. Oh, he's gone. Away it goes. So we're just oh. looking up at one of the bowling clubs in uh, in Scotland. It's quite a pretty place. So. I'd Really? Yeah, like I said, I've got to get over there for an, and not just have a game, just have a bit of fun there. I haven't been to Scotland yet. I'm going to Greece instead. No, 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 lawn bowls, I don't yeah, think. Thanks, <laughs> I'll be over there with the wife and family in a couple of weeks. So here we go. Oh, doesn't want to touch that over. Does not want... Oh, jeez. Would have been giving himself heart attacks there. Still one white. One to zone ten. Cartwright needs to be a little bit wider with his grass, which he is this time. Well, this is in the area, I can tell you. If he makes contact with his own red, yes. onto the jack. Unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> what He's what are we he can't do a thing wrong. <laughs> he can't do a thing wrong. He's had so few mistakes, so few errors, and so many times that he hasn't converted with his last bowl. It has been an absolute display. Uh, so one to zone two. 21-7, 18-4, and 19-6. Might be more than 19-6 at the moment, perhaps. 21-7 on 16. We are up and back. Which means there's two ends to go. Right. Right. Looking at the right. way they're talking to each other out there, we mightn't even have that. Uh, 58-18. Well, it has been a demolition. It's yes. <laughs> absolutely right. Yes, a bit uh, surprising, the, mm. uh, the result at the moment. We, I don't, yeah, we wouldn't have seen this coming. We expected top of the... Did not expect this. No. No, no. The zone 10 have been huge in this tournament up until now. And uh, zone 2 obviously have been pretty dominant. It was a pretty close game uh, in the first round, and uh, first game, which was against zone 15. It was, uh, yep. Uh, go back and have a look at... The men just got away from them at the end. That's it. So it was, uh, yeah, your first game, oh, sorry, first game was... Against zone 15. It was zone 15. I'm yep. in the wrong round. 47-42. Yep. Next one, 58-43 uh, over zone 3 red. And that was pretty tight too in the end, from memory. And then you won 70-38 over zone 6. And that was the last game we streamed uh, this morning. And... Uh, it was zone 6 that uh, also won two of their games, hadn't they? Mm, that's they right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Was a uh, for 19 points. It was essentially a semi-final at that point, and then Zone 10's run. They had that tie, four and a half to five and a half on Zone uh, with Zone 11, uh, and then won 63 to 36, 9-1 over Zone 13. That's big. Mm. That's yes, a, that's 
And then uh, obviously 61 to 33, 9 1 over Zone 3 Blue. So, yeah, huge effort from Zone 10 to get here and just seem to have uh, just dropped it a bit. That's all. Not much. I think it. I think it might be the fitness regime we've been putting these boys through leading into this event, Greg. That's Is that right? Got the zone uh, two Warren, over hey? the line. Yes, they've, they've some, uh... gone from strength to strength. <laughs> so you have to get this up properly. That's better, the, isn't uh, it? The training runs. Yeah, have, uh, yeah. Hey, the, the sand hills. You've been a bit hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sand hills. Yeah. Sand. Huge weights, yeah. weight routine. <laughs> the, sand, <laughs> the sand hills is stepping up out of the ditch. <laughs> 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 Squats. <laughs> Getting down to measure and back up again, all that type well, of stuff. All that sort of thing, yes. Yeah. <sighs> i tell you something, uh, one of the indicators of um, fitness in, in people over 70 is that you can lay down and get back up without help. That's seriously. That's a, a real yeah. thing. You yeah. know, if you if you can do that, then you can count on. You know, you you can get up if you fall over yourself. Yeah, yeah. essentially. Yeah. Bang bang. That's uh, two. And uh, I'm sure bowls helps with that. <laughs> oh, the, without a doubt. One of without the uh, one of the funny things when I was back when I was a fit young sailor, and I'd started bowling, been bowling for a few years. We'd do um, lunges, which is one leg forward and bend down and that kind of thing. Uh, oh. I was really good at it with my left leg forward, <laughs> shocking on the other side. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just, you know, practice is just do that the whole time, down one leg. Well, the old right hand bowlers do that every time. There the left we leg go. forward with the lunge. That's yeah. it. So, 18 ends, two end roll up, five games. That's a. 100 ends. That's 200 lunges they've done over the last couple of days. Yep. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> you know, if you start playing like the juniors are down at Warilla, how many left stand lunges are yeah. you? <laughs> left side lunges are you doing over your time? Uh, I wanted to move that oh, right one. So where are we at? Let's have it do some math. Well, yes, I think we're in the final stages, mate. I think, as I said, once uh, once one of these rinks finish, and may not even finish, or will be Cartwright's rink that finishes first by the looks of things, we might see the handshake across the board. It's here, 20 to, 20 to 4 after 15 next door. 19-7 after 15 uh, on the far side. We're on 16, 21-7. There's... I think it's only because they're playing in the other direction, and we might see we yeah. might have seen a finish <laughs> after right. this end. Want to see it play back? They'll into, play back to their bowls. To their bowls yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Watch them chuck a long end and just go whatever. Yeah. So where are we at? And this one's going to. Hook in a fair bit. I can't see where it's going. No, I'm looking down the camera. It, love it. There we go. He'll remember in a second. There again, yeah. That short-term memory loss is happening. <laughs> I'll just see if I can see what happened. I can't really. I can't tell who's there got what. Go. There it is. There he's moved. Excellent. I think he got a call from the Prez. Get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this one looks a little tight unless he can find his own bowl at the front and promote it. Just oh, he's under, under it. Oh, no. Promoted one of his own. Oh, got his out, did it? Oh, it did, yep. So I think that purple one there is his own two bowl. Yep, two he's saying. Is the boss is saying. Oh, look at the, the two players holding a rag. Look, they've got their own promotional work. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's a bloke in the way. Here it is, the Charles <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the Charles <laughs> The Charles Tiger, there they go, look at love that. It, yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. So if anyone missed what if we were talking about there, watch these guys come down the green. Oh, he, unfortunately, oh, they yeah, they oh, come, they no, yeah. you're right. Unfortunately, Scruffy's blocking the camera yeah. view of them, but when you see him move out the way, the proud Charles Town Tigers. Go. <laughs> the Tigers. Look at the rag there. there go on, you lads. <laughs> well done. 
Uh, you tell them to play off a bit. And Self-promotion. It. Yeah, I'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Hill will be proud of him. The bowls coordinator at Charlestown. Yeah, you should be too. Down at Warilla playing in the four side at the moment. Or might be might be over now. I'm not sure. It'll be pretty close. And they've been there in their last end, I guess. I haven't seen... Uh, I usually get a notification when they knock those things over, so yeah. I haven't seen one yet. There we go. Oh, can't ride they've, again. Look uh, at this. Oh, uh, yeah. They've well, called... Uh, uh, they've called oh, it... Oh, they uh, shake hands. They shake hands. There we go. Yep. Yeah. So we're playing the last end. On ring five. It's, uh, yep. Yep. This will be the last end. Cartwright. One bowl to play. John Farr with two. Sammy's calling them up. They Is called it? it off. It's all over. It's all over. They're shaking hands. Who's that standing right in the way, too? Oi, get out of the way. Oh, yeah, that's the president. <laughs> oh. No, that'd be Mark. Oh. That's Mark. Yeah. He had nothing on his back to promote, either. No. <laughs> so, yeah, they're going to play their final bowls. He's told them to knock it off, but uh, yeah. they'll play we'll their the final bowls. The last couple of bowls here from Cartwright. Deserves to play the last. And look at this. Here we come. I'm just laying them back yep, bowls. Sit, yep. right. sit there. He's in for another. Well, zone two. Party time there. And party time in the Newcastle region. Uh, taking out Northwest Sydney which is zone 10, uh, you know, well, sadly, it ended up being a bit of a beating. Oh, yeah, they didn't, uh, didn't need that. There we go. So a great fight, good final, but, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, zone two just uh, proving far too strong. It's so, and, and a big surprise, actually. At, uh, Greg, just while we've got the opportunity, mate, I'd like to thank on behalf of all the zones your Zone 3 and especially South Tamworth Bowling Club for the effort they've put in to host this event. It's been magnificent. Nothing but uh, nothing but praise for the club and all the volunteers and everything like that throughout the last couple of days. Um, well worth the, the trip to Tamworth, mate. Everyone has thoroughly enjoyed it, so we thank you immensely, you and your zone, if you can pass that on for us, please. Sure, Will Warren, and it's been indeed a pleasure. And on behalf of uh, Zone 3, it, uh, I thank everyone. Uh, all the players and their officials that have come along and uh, as I say the venue here at South Palo has been great and uh, they've certainly made sure that everyone's enjoyed themselves and uh, Zone 3 have been uh, really happy to be able to have hosted this event and I've got to thank all my committee and uh, all the boys who have uh, been involved in uh, the work leading up to this event it's been great and uh, Congratulations to you, uh, Warren, to you and the boys at Zone 2 uh, for taking out this year's event. Excellent. And we look forward to 2025 um, in, in uh, Zone 6. Zone 6 or the Hunter, well, Hunter Region. Uh, Hunter, Hunter yes, Region. And if yours are, region. Yes, yes. yes. If your region wants to get involved and you haven't been part of it, make sure that you get on to your regional match committee or regional executives to find out all the details for the event in 2025. Yes. And, Benny, you'll be off to East Maitland tomorrow. That's right. So uh, thanks, lads, uh, for... Uh, well, well, thanks for hosting me, uh, Zone 3. I appreciate that very much. Uh, Shippo joining me on commentary, so go ahead. And thank you oh, for, uh, for, for your, your time and coming up to uh, live stream this event for us. It's been great, and uh, Zone 3 have uh, indeed uh, enjoyed your, your visit. Thank and, you very uh, much. And yeah. we've enjoyed looking after you as well. Thanks, mate. I appreciate so, it very much. Look, I'm going to send Shippo out straight away, mate. Thanks for joining us, and congrats. <laughs> and... Uh, well done, buddy. And yeah. thank you very thank much. Appreciate it. Very I'll get, good. I'll get wrapped up. Zone three is having the sorry, zone two having the meeting. The interzone veteran or the veteran interzone champions. Congratulations, zone two. Uh, well, I'll be back, like I said, tomorrow for some platinum pennant, and we'll see you later on. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your uh, Thursday night. We'll see you.